Head to bed and get ready to get down. Get down! Put the kids to bed and get ready to get down. Keep those eyes open. Adults win. Next. Right on. Yeah. Parents strongly cautioned, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some materials that many parents would not find suitable for children. The programs may contain intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language and suggestive dialogue. set with a lower restriction percentage. But to the fresh candidates, this is the vessel they strive to command. already defeated three others. Hey, did you see that right now? I wonder how you make them move that way. It's awesome, awesome, awesome! Don't you have any other words in your vocabulary? It's awesome because it's really awesome! You guys keep your observations quiet. Quiet. It's awesome! Look at Zero Five Go! Of course it is! Don't you know it's one of the top groups within Goa practice runs? Alright, you guys, listen up. I'll explain this. Oh, this time it's through the other. Guys, do you want to listen to this or not? It's awesome, so awesome, so very, very... Awesome! Yeah, they're so cool! Ow! Listen up. But did the guest... Uh, it's over. Huh? For real? All right, then let's listen to the instructor's explanation. Hmm, why do I bother? Huh? You're being a little cynical for an instructor. <laughs> Here, you fresh candidates will have the opportunity to master the basic fundamentals. You'll train with senior pro wing students starting tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Even though it's only two days, you'll get to train with the ones at the top of the class. You better be grateful. Oh, Instructor Azuma. Who was that that just came out? Listen up! We're listening! 
That is Arch Wilney Cocteau, age 14. He's the youngest and his number is 05. His ability puts him in the lead in the top five. He is the youngest? Age doesn't matter. From the time he was admitted, he had frighteningly enormous potential. By the way, that was underhanded, Zero. I also wanted to pair up with Arts. This is a case of the first to ask coming out ahead. Darn it, Zero. <sighs> oh. Say, Yamagi. What? Did you cut your head? No, you idiot! I didn't cut my head! I cut my hair! So what? You got what I meant? What you meant? Now that I've noticed, I think it looks rather very neat and clean. Yeah, Clay, uh... How do you say it? Uh... I really don't dislike it. Yamaki! Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yamaki? You talking to me? Yeah, and Zero and Clay, too. It's been a long time. You know him? No. Who is that? Aw, oh, come on. Did you guys already forget who I am? That real, absurd expression. Come on, you guys. It's me. Luz? Saamura? Uh. <laughs> You're Luz Saamura? <laughs> Fatter. That's right. Number 85. There's no mistake. You are loose some Other guy, my wife kicked me in the crotch once. Do you mean your mule? Yeah. What did I say? You said your wife. Did I really? You've been doing that a lot lately. Battle Rash, next Sunday at 10.30 on Adult Swim. We need a credit card. Call 1-877-265-0100. And get all those features you'll only find on AOL. When you know you got mail, you hear this really cool voice that says... You've got mail. Oh, I love that. I wonder who that guy is. My single favorite feature has got to be instant messages. Bing. It's having a verbal chat electronically. Our free 24-hour customer service representatives are always available by phone. They're very responsive. They speak your language. Nicest, kindest, most patient people I know. AOL has parental controls, and that's very important to me. My mom's got it, my dad's got it, both my brothers got it. AOL has it all. You can have it all too. Call 1-877-265-0100 for 1,000 hours free for 45 days for new members. America Online, so easy to use, no wonder it's number one. There is the world you know, and one you can only imagine. Where you can navigate satellites, or fly without ever leaving the ground. Where you can live in the future before it even arrives. When you cross into the blue, everything is different and important. Especially you. New locations, new characters, new interactions. Brace yourself. The Sims are on vacation. Rated T for teen. Parents strongly caution. The following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. What? You're the big fat pig? What, what happened to you? All that fat! I'm not fat anymore. How many kilos did you drop? Huh? What kind of diet were you on? Ah, you're so skinny. You're just bone. Bone! Ah, uh, hey guys, this is sexual harassment. So just tell us, how did you drastically lose it? It's all thanks to Reka's help. Well now, that's a secret between you and me. Right? <laughs> and then why are you blue?
Flushing! Make your weight rebound? I don't want to. In such a short time, your diet worked amazingly. This fact is very interesting to me. However, I wonder what will happen if you eat here. To me, that's even more interesting. Please stop already. Yeah, surrender. Do it right. Down the hatch. Uh, 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 don't make me. Yeah, this guy came back today, so we're celebrating. Is that what you call celebrating? <laughs> but this means that you're finally back together, all five of you. You could say that again. This means they can all ride the pro ing tomorrow. We've maintained them perfectly. Oh. Oh, uh, I want to ask you something. What is it? Well, uh... About Luz, do you, you know that? Do I know what? It's that, do you do secrets? Secrets? What I mean is, is that something to blush about? Zero? It's tomorrow. It's finally tomorrow. That's why we already know all that. We get to ride those pro wings. The pro wings. Ow! Don't get me involved in your insomnia, you brat. Who are you calling brat? <laughs> Zero. I understand. I apologize. Mm. Mother, I, I hope you're doing well. You were so frail to begin with. And I hope you're not ill. I have to hurry and be a pilot. When I become a pilot, our colony will be allocated more energy. Then, Mother, you'll be... What is it you need? Ray? Everyone at school is calling me Zero, and they won't call me Ray. Even though Ray is kanji and it does mean Zero, there's nothing funny about it. <laughs> Ray, that name is yours. It's the name that your father gave you. The only precious thing he left you. Father? I'm sorry, Ray. I can't do anything for you, and I also can't leave you anything. I'm sorry. <gasps> Mother! What's this? Oh, sweat. Zero. Uh, uh, sorry.
Sorry. I'll sleep. inside. That, that dude! Oh. Look, it's here. Move it. Yeah, okay. Hey, Clay. Uh, uh, Have you ever forgotten uh, what your mother looked like? Huh? Well, ever since you came to Goa, they've been cramming your empty head with a lot of new thoughts and ideas. There's a real good possibility that some or all of your memory may have been overridden. You're a real idiot, aren't you? Oh, yeah? Then how about you? Do you remember? Who, me? Yeah. I've forgotten that old hag. Move it! Good. You're all here on time for a change. <sighs> We just made it. <clears throat> the repairers are already adjusting their pro-wing. The top pro-wing guy should be here soon. Shape up, you ladies! Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir! Uh, uh. All right, listen very closely. In a live craft, a small mistake can be a life-taker. Be careful you don't have any accidents. Is that clear? That bastard heed... If he got up first, he should have woke us up. You are Zero Anna, correct? Huh? I understand you're my partner for today and tomorrow. I am Arts Wilney Cocto. Regards. This guy? This guy is at the top of Goa? Ah! Nice to make your acquaintance, sir! Uh, 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 um, best regards. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't shake hands. Hmm? No, no. It's because that guy avoids making human contact. And it's also because... that's not the way to address your senior, is it? Eh? New recruit. What did you say? No! You have to salute them! Salute to the top guys! Was that right? Heh. <laughs> Babysitting these newbies again. Let's get started already. All right, I'll start by confirming the pairings. First is Zero and Arts. <laughs> Heed is with Force. Yamagi, you're with Sure. Clay is with Alakudo and Luz is with Yoshino. Yeah, I like it! That is all. Go ahead and get your butts kicked. like the real thing. Zero, are you correctly making your preparations to begin? I'm on it. I'm doing them. But this thing... This doesn't have them either. Mr. Zero, for the time being, do you know how to man this vessel? Just call me Zero. And yes, they've given me an overview. You'll feel sick at first, but you'll get used to it. Feel sick at first? Not again. Zero, you haven't completely finished your chat. Uh, say, Arth! What? You're very strong. I was very impressed with you yesterday. I am not strong. Shelter gate open. I am... I'm scared. I'm being in battle. Scared? Is he scared? Yeah, uh, 
And who's the enemy? It's the Clay Alicudo pair. System settings complete. Scanner function normal. Starting operations. Yes, sir! Zero, release your strength. Huh? It's okay. It's initially a land battle. You won't be in zero gravity. How do you know about that? There was a moment when I felt your thoughts. I believe it was during the cool ball simulation. Uh. directed a very strong thought my way. Even though we didn't have any contact? A telepath? You lost your fear by looking toward the future, right? The overwhelming will to become a pilot. That is great. How do you know about things like that? These are things that make up my older brother and my EX reactions. Your brother? Yes. He's one of the five current goddess pilots. His name is Ernest Kore. It's no good, Galoo. Stay on your course here. This victim can withstand our sword. And even our battery. What are we supposed to do? And there's no telling how long the shields will last! It's approaching again! Don't taunt us. You bastards! Don't go in, Galoo! It's too soon! I will crush you! Please reveal to me, Arts. What are you so scared of? You battle and destroy your enemy, but it also destroys a part of yourself. Destroys yourself? Mother. That's true. But you can't. You can't. You can't just afford not to move forward! Tropical Island, Mario is taking a well-deserved vacation. Or so he thinks. <laughs> Something's a muck in paradise. 
It's up to Mario, his water pack, and you to make things less toxic and more throbbing. In Super Mario Sunshine, only for Nintendo GameCube. Rated E for everyone. Take a six shooting spaceman. Bring it on. Pilot Savant. Who's flying this thing? All right, that would be me. Tough guy named Jane. Now you only gonna scare him. Pain is scary. Cosmic Hooker. How's business? None of yours. And a girl in a box. <laughs> what do you get? The most twisted new show on television. Let's move. Them. Out there? <laughs> oh, it's out there. So it makes us special. From the creator of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, <laughs> Firefly, the series premiere next week on Fox. Topless chicks, trippy teens. You know how fast you were going? 65. 63. I'm freaking out. And criminal insanity. Super Troopers. Now available on video and DVD. It would be a crime to miss it. Station 2, rated E for everyone. Square soft. I was writing paper on the PC, and it was like bleep, 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 bleep. And then, like, half of my paper was gone. And I was like, hmm? It devoured my paper. It was really good paper. And then I had to write it again, and I had to do it fast, so it wasn't as good. It's kind of... A bummer. I'm Ellen Feist and I'm a student. Calm down. All I gotta do is just cut one of them, right? If you cut the dummy wire, it'll blow us to pieces! So that means that we only stand a 50-50 chance. Hey, trust me. You'd never guess it, but gambling is my specialty. Help me! Ready for entry. Gorgeous Mitsuru, you're clear to come in on Route 7A12. 
Number 382, hurry up with those preparations. Ah, uh, this is killing me. I can't believe that I'm stuck up here, sitting around with this loser spaceport tugboat job. I agree. This is no job for the galaxy's most advanced grappler ship. Will you quit your whining? You just got a request to do a catch and release on an ad ship. It's heading your way on course 9C3. You're to haul it back to the spaceport now. I mean, you humans are always complaining every day about not having work, so now's your time to work for Come on, Jim, will you close the channel already? You know what? If we help out with the station job, they'll give us discount parking planet side. Now you can't beat that. Still, I don't understand how they could use the first place privateer of the space race as a tugboat. Speaking of which, it looks like the race has been good advertising. Well, it's making us a laughing stock. Damn it! Why is this area so crowded? Where the hell is everybody going? I heard there was a big time jewelry store on the station that was celebrating some kind of renovation. Huh? Hey, that's it! That's the ad ship Asia mentioned! Melfina, uh, display the rendezvous course. It's huge! Yeah, it's too big. Sure, it'll get your attention, but it can't make sharp turns, so getting it into port is nothing but a giant hassle. Like, that's why they need to use a tugboat? Now quit your yapping and let's get to work! Locking complete. All right, I'll begin deceleration and put us on a docking course. What do they mean by gotcha? Virus penetration in progress. Virus penetration in progress. Unable to purge. System shutting down. <laughs> The virus seeped into the system right when those anchors locked on. Now Gilliam is completely shut down. Congratulations! Huh? You are a lucky winner! You've been selected to go on a tour of heaven! What the hell? Ugh. Aisha, we're busy right now. Call us back later. Later doesn't exist for people who only have five hours to live. What? Who the hell are you? Well, now, let's see. You can call me Cracker Jack for the time being. For the time being, I suggest you remain calm. My name is the least of your problems at this moment. The ad ship you're presently connected to happens to be loaded with a high-yield bomb. Uh, a bomb? If our demands are not met, the bomb has been set with an automatic detonator which will blow itself up along with your ship. You have only five hours. That's ridiculous! So what are these demands of yours anyway? Feast your eyes and listen. I repeat, we, the People's Liberation Front, demand the immediate removal of the Viceroy of Haifong and any of his personal aides. He is nothing but a puppet of the Tempa Empire. We expect total independence granted to Haifong. Like the independence? No way. Colonial rule. You heard the man. If our demands are met unconditionally, you will be set free. Oh, right. I almost forgot. The bomb is extremely delicate. If you try and dismantle it, it is programmed to detonate immediately. Please don't think of trying anything foolish. Do enjoy yourselves, gentlemen. Oh, oh come on, in. now what? It's gonna blow! Damn it, he's changed our orbit! Mel, calculate our orbit! Right. Okay, and Jim, you put together a damage report. I'm on it! The rage of the terrorist group, the People's Liberation Front, known to be highly aggressive, has currently hijacked a tugboat near the station and implores that Haifong be granted its independence. We can only imagine how the Viceroy will respond to such unheard of demands. Haifong will never be independent. And we must never give in to terrorists, not while we're out here on the frontier. Yes, sir. Even if it means our sacrificing the lives of the hostages. We now have confirmation on the registration of that captive tugboat. Okay, so who are the morons? It has been determined that the ship is the outlaw star. The hostages are her captain, Jean Starwind. <laughs> Not Jean! I've purged the virus, but the memory's pretty trashed, so Gilliam is still offline. 
The oxygen circulation system is still working somehow, but the temperature regulator's shot. Weapons and navigation are pretty much gone, of course. Attitude control is about all we can do at this point. And the airlocks won't open either. So then we couldn't abandon ship as a last resort even if we wanted to. Well, is there anything that does work? From what I see, the only things working are the grappler arms. It looks like their system is linked directly to the cockpit. <sighs> I've calculated our orbit. I'll put it on the screen. We're circling above Haifong 3's equator and losing altitude. Damn, then that means that even if the bomb doesn't go off in the five hours that they've programmed it for, then... We'll carry the bomb right into the station when we hit it, won't we? An evacuation order has been issued for this station. Everyone please copy. My tools! Getting out of here is much more important, ma'am. They're insured. You don't have to worry. Oh, 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 oh. There are more than enough spaceship seats for everyone. Gorgeous Mitsuru! Lifting up! Get around to deck 28! Exactly according to plan. <laughs> Commence operation! Spaceships are fleeing the station one after another. Calculation shows... Gene, the what's happening up there? Tell me! Shut up, Aisha! Oh. Jim, no, end transmission. Will you stop telling me to shut up? Don't you know that yelling at him won't solve anything? So what do you suggest we do? It's very simple. I'll go ask the man who built the bomb how to disarm it. <laughs> Asking the man behind it is the most certain way. Huh? Hey, wait! But I don't understand how you're gonna do that! I've got bad news, Viceroy. What is it? The simulation of the bombship hitting the station predicts that the orbital elevator will crash into the ground. What? Viceroy, we mustn't endanger the planet! We have no choice. We'll have to blow it up with the hostages before it comes near the station. But, sir, that's what I, uh... Viceroy, I must tell you that according to the terrorist, the ship is loaded with large quantities of radioactive material. <sighs> Can't we do anything about it? Gene, are you really gonna do this? Do you have any other ideas, huh? No, but it's crazy to try and disarm a bomb with an amateur like you! Show some backbone! Mel, I need you to handle the scanning. Right. Now, beginning infrared scan. have to do is cut the power connected to the fuse. It's really no different than cutting the cord to an ordinary spark plug, right? Yeah, but an engine doesn't explode when you happen to cut the wrong cord to a spark plug. The infrared scan is now complete. I'll put it up on the screen. What? There's nothing there. It's mostly hollow. Because it's camouflage. That's how they got it to pass inspection before it started the port entry course. <laughs> so we have no way of telling what's inside unless we open the thing. What about the owner registration on the ad ship? Surely you have that. But we can only give that kind of information out to the police. Quit stalling and tell us everything we want to know! We have got to take a look inside. We just have to take that chance. Don't do it, Gene! It's too dangerous. Is that it? Let's do it. What the? Gee. I'm getting no response from the tip of the right grappler arm. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be any serious damage. Damn, that scared the hell out of me. Exactly! So let's forget the whole thing! Huh? Jim, quick, trace the signal. I'm on it. This is the Outlaw Star. Didn't I tell you not to try anything stupid? Bite me! That was just some stupid bluff. I thought the whole thing was supposed to blow us away. No, no, that isn't very smart, is it? We'd lose everything if an idiot like you set it off before the Viceroy could give in to our demands. 
If you try anything else again, you won't get off with just a warning. I realize you're very proud of this bomb, but I'm still gonna have to try and disarm it. You know, you should not aggravate the terrorist. <laughs> That's a good one. You blunder into the most rudimentary of traps. And you think that you're capable of dismantling a bomb that I personally made? Don't even try and outsmart me, you little tugboat pilot. Well, look who's talking. You're nothing but a useless mad bomber. <laughs> if you insist, now I dare you. Give it your best shot. Good luck, tugboat. That jerk likes to hear himself talk. Did you get a trace on him? It's hopeless. Normal radio waves don't have directivity. But wait, there was no lag time, so he's probably within at least 30,000 kilometers or so. 30,000, huh? I'm not getting a signal from any spaceships within that radius. Looks like they've all evacuated. Are they on the surface? Are you nuts? You think they'd hang around on the surface when the orbital elevator might come crashing down? Mm. Where do you suppose they've all gone, then? Jim, what do you think? Can we send out a jamming signal? A jamming signal? Uh, well, the comm system is working, so I guess I can come up with something. Looks like Tugboat has a brain after all. There's a pitch change over here. This is the only section where the sound is different. Great, that's it, Mel. Jim, can I use the torch gun? No, it's hooked up to the power system. The buzzsaw has internal batteries, though. You can use that. <laughs> Bingo! That's it! Forget it! This is the real thing! Here goes. <laughs> Wise guy, why do you have to do that? That small tube-like object appears to be a detonator. I can't determine whether the explosives are directly inside or not. You see those two wires over there? One of them carries the signal to the detonator! Then, what do you suppose the other one's for? Hey, don't worry about it. I grew up watching tons of movies with bombs in them. The instant the dummy wire is cut, it sets off a relay that sends a signal to the real one. And then, boom! So what are you thinking of? Well, there's only one thing for me to do, Jim. Are you sure you want to go ahead with this thing? Calm down. All I gotta do is just cut one of them, right? If you cut the dummy wire, it'll blow us to pieces! So that means that we only stand a 50-50 chance. Hey, trust me. You'd never guess it, but gambling is my specialty. Help me! The red or the blue? With this much explosives, if I screw up, we're all gonna be dead anyway. Huh? I can't believe at a time like this you're laughing. Come on, Jim, you're bigger than that. Yeah, but when I'm really scared, these things seem funny, and I can't seem to explain it. I just know that I can't stop laughing. I know it's crazy. Huh? It'll be okay. I know everything will work out. Well, thanks, Mel. So, what do you say we test our luck now? Let's do it! Huh? What is it? Didn't you send out a jamming signal? It's a directional laser transmission, and it's coming from the station. The station? What do you mean? Someone's still there? What do you think you're doing? Asia? It's been hard to reach you. We couldn't get you on the radio. What in the hell are you doing on the station? I tracked the scent of the terrorist, and it seems to have led me here. His scent? That's not true. We tried to track down information on the ship's owner, but it was a dummy, so we found ourselves in a corner. So we asked Fred Lowe, and he gave us the information. Fred, huh? Huh. I bet that really cost you. Not at all. Actually, he was most cooperative when I told him it was to help you. He even lent us a shuttle for free to get up here. So, what information did you get? 
Well, you see, according to Lowe, the Adship's registration is actually a fake that was sold by pirates on the black market. Pirates? So yeah. then after that, we had Low check and see who the pirates had previously sold it to. Will you just get to the point? Who in the hell did he sell it to? The buyer was the lead man of a notorious gang of robbers. I can't sacrifice the lives of everyone on Haifong 3. The Vice Regal of Haifong agrees to your demands. We recognize Haifong's independence. Perhaps you misunderstood me. What we're looking for here and demand is recognition by the Tempa Empire. Any decision made by the Vice Regal is totally useless to us. What? Don't tell me at this point that you never had any intention of. What? This guy's not even a terrorist? He's just a simple thief? I'm not sure I understand. Why would robbers demand Haifong's independence? I can't believe it. This whole bomb scare is a sham! Ugh. It was all just a decoy so they could empty out the space station! But why, Gene? I don't get it! <laughs> I know exactly how you think now, Mr. Cracker Jack. I bet this is a dummy, too. It'll explode no matter which cord I cut. Uh, if that's not it, where's the real detonator? I'm gonna take a look inside that hatch that blew up first. If my hunch is right, the detonator's inside there! Oh, I get it. You would never check a place again that you've already looked at. Bulkhead. I hear a faint mechanical sound. That's it, all right. Jim, can I still use the buzzsaw? Well, if you're just gonna cut a small hole, the battery's out of hold. Okay, this time we're gonna get this sucker. But even if you find the real detonator in there, what will you do if you find two cords again? This guy's really full of himself. He'd most likely think it was beneath him to use the same trap. But if he did, I'd rely on my intuition and my good luck. All right, it's time. Let's do it. Huh? Who are you? I believe that's our line, Cracker Jack. Robbery under the disguise of terrorism. Well, you must think you're very, very clever. <sighs> How'd you figure it out? I really can't stand bastards like you who think they can plan out every little thing! Kill them now! <laughs> <laughs> It looks like you're the only one left, Cracker Jack. <gasps> Tell me what it is you two want. I'll cut you a deal. <laughs> if you want part of the take, how does half of it sound? You realize that the ship with the bomb is headed straight for the station. We're almost out of time here! Oh, yes, that. Don't worry about it. What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Well, we finally get to meet Cracker Jack. You? That's impossible. Oh yeah, it's possible. After we disarmed your bomb, we ditched it and came straight here to pay you a visit. You son of a... <laughs> that was a fun five hours, Cracker Jack. Bastard! <laughs> The countdown is over.
Need a better way to check out phones? At Best Buy, we've got the brands and plans you want. Even the latest like Virgin Mobile and PCS Vision from Sprint. Best Buy. Go ahead. Turn on the fun. Swing higher. Higher? Higher. Yeah. Hey. No. What did you do? They smell blood. Yours. To an evolution from a claim the scent of blood. Pretty mature. This fall, Buffy fights back. Saving the world one Tuesday at a time. <laughs> it's a whole new season. There's something you don't see every day, unless you're us. With all new reasons to slay. Go back to school and back to cool with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm like a superhero or something. Season premiere, Tuesday at 8, 7 central on UPN. What changes in your life? There are two things you can count on for 10 years. And one of them comes with loads of standard features and five years of roadside assistance. The 2003 Kia Spectra. And right now, get 2,000 cash back on all remaining 2002 Spectras. The mysterious. The magnificent. The Masterpiece. A new epic in Capcom Samurai action series. Onimusha 2, rated M for Mature. Only from Capcom. Zanku, the Anten Seven are now assembled. Mm. If we are the only ones who are capable of taking this guy out, he must be very good. Hazanku, would you prefer that I deal with him? I wouldn't mind at all doing it myself. Hitoriga, I've noticed the Anten Seven seems to be short one. Yes, Lord Hazanku has anticipated this. I have sent out Shimi as the first assassin. Well done, Lord Hazanko. Without a doubt, knowing Shimi, he will certainly carry out your orders. Wait! This man may have stolen the XGP, but he is still a mere helpless outlaw. Why are we needed to kill the likes of this man? Hmm. Gene Starwind is strong, but his power should be nothing compared to yours. However, I do sense a powerful key line flowing towards him. As of now, it is but a small sign. Yet, if we leave it unchecked, I believe he will come to cast a dark shadow upon the path we walk. And so, I entrust you with this very task. In the name of the Anten, you must seal Gene Starwin's fate. Gene 
green. It's not looking good. We're still way in the red. We gotta earn some big bucks. Wake up, will ya? Are you listening? Yeah. Gene! Oh, relax. I already know. I don't need you to keep on harping about it. I love you. I want you. <laughs> it's so obvious you're taking it all out on Jim because you haven't gotten a job offer. That damn game of yours is driving me crazy. Will you turn it off? Taking it out on me won't do you any good either. Why don't you just talk to yourself? Aw, oh, shut up. <laughs> Oh, shut up. I made some coffee. Uh, ah! Thanks. Hey, she's really, really thirsty. I'll have some, too. What are we going to do now? You've always got to have some kind of plan in life. If we could just solve the mystery of the galactic ley line, then we could all have the treasure. Yeah, I wonder what that treasure is anyway. Here you are. Gene Starwind, if you're in there, come out! Huh? Hmm, wonder who that is. Maybe somebody with a job offer. Ah, oh, great. What do they want now? Gene Starwind? Yeah, that's right. Nothing personal, but I'm here to kill you. Oh yeah? You a pirate? And what if I am? I'd just like to know who I'm doing business with. What's your name? I'm called Shimi. I want to play a little game with you. Oh, a little game? I challenge you to a duel. I'll wait for you on Monkoku Hill tomorrow at noon. Bring any weapon you can carry. If you refuse, I'll have to kill your little friends. Oh, really? I don't think so. Uh huh? You waltz up here, order me to come outside, and then you challenge me? Hmm. Now I'm really pissed off. Why don't we just finish it right here? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're not bad for a little guy. I always try to fight fair no matter who I deal with. That's interesting. You don't look like the honest type to me. You've killed far too many of us. Now I must end it. I'll make a name for myself by killing you. That suits me just fine. At least you'll be known for something. You better believe it. <laughs> you just got lucky today. But don't expect to be lucky tomorrow. I'm not like those other careless punks. Oh, is that right? So who exactly are you, then? I'd rather keep that to myself. But if you beat me tomorrow, then I'll tell you. If I'm still alive. So, Gene, are you gonna go? Oh, yeah. I love you! I want you! I need you! Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you want, Jim? Don't you think you should be getting ready? For what? That duel! Just exactly how do you expect me to get ready for a duel? You know! Hey, come on, don't worry yourself about it. You know justice will always prevail. Oh. Here, you try. Are you sure you know what you're doing with this guy, Gene? Yeah, sure, what's to know? <sighs> right now, I'm going out for a drink. Uh, Mrs. DeBruzzo, I'm I'm here with the neighborhood watch. We for, for, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. We won! I, I'm signing up people for the neighborhood watch. You made I, our dreams come true. You have your cameras here. Where are yes. you going, Mr. McMahon? I, I'm going to check with the lady next door. Are you, yeah. Are you going to get the check? The check. Start a neighborhood watch. It's just one of the many ways you can help make America stronger. To find out how, call or log on for this free guide. Harvard. It's a place that some people You're a monkey pruning Could never hope to go But to pay for it I know how you can get the money They'll have to give it their best shot Is this 100% cotton? We should make up some fake names I want to be Kyle Who are you going to be? Steve Steve Yeah I want to be Steve I'm Steve, you're Carl Kyle! Give us the money! Drop it, sucker! Go, go. We are so dead! Stealing Harvard Ready PG-13 Everywhere September 13th Morning, Tom. Morning. How are you? Ow! What? They 
smell blood. Yours. Drunk Evolution proclaim the scent of blood. Ready to mature. A timeless battle. Blade. A new enemy. An action-packed DVD. Ooh, that's exciting. The army of the night is now fully armed with scenes that reveal the secret. They'll take us in deeper than we've ever been. Thrilling documentaries. A word with Blade and more. Wesley Snipes. Not know who you are. Blade 2. A new battle rages on a two-disc platinum series DVD. Get your data. be okay, Jim. Gene's a tough guy. Mm-hmm. But to be perfectly honest, compared to a Katarl, he's not nearly as tough. Hi there. You having a drink all by yourself? How about we go somewhere else and have some fun? No, thanks. Not tonight. Oh, come on. A cute guy like you shouldn't be depressed. This is the first time in my life I felt like drinking alone. <sighs> You're no fun. Hey, maybe next time. Yeah, right. That's a thought. I wonder if there'll ever be a next time. <laughs> Hey, what the hell's so funny, mister? Forget it, I apologize. Couldn't help but overhear what you were just saying there. And looking at you sitting like that, it sure does remind me of myself when I was younger. Oh, geez. Old people are always saying things like that. Ah, oh, hey, come on. Just listen for a minute. What do you say you and I have a friendly little drink together, and we'll call ourselves representatives of humanity? Why not? No matter what I do, seems like every human on this planet wants to drink with me tonight. Maybe you should listen to what your elders have to say. Uh, um... My name's Gene Starwind. I know when you're young, you gotta be a smartass, even though you can't necessarily do anything to back it up. You sure got a harsh way of looking at things, don't you? The name's Leilong. Nice to meet you. All systems of the Outlaw Star are functioning normally. Well, I guess he really didn't plan anything at all. I tell you, I don't know about this. Does that mean it's gonna be a fair fight or what? Well, Jim, perhaps they are afraid of my foolproof guard system. Must be nice. Machines don't have any worries. Excuse me, Jim. What did you mean by that? Let me see. For you to understand, I'd have to do a major upgrade on you. So, in other words, you need money. We need money to service the ship. Let's face it, we were attacked by pirates. Why does this keep happening to us? Melfina, what are you doing? Get over here, I need your help. <sighs> Mel! Uh, coming. This is a Katarl Katarl specialty, get you double stew. Huh? Where's Jean? Eat some of this and you'll have the strength of five men. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah? Is this safe for human beings to actually eat and still survive? Of course, you pathetic human being. Gigi Dabo Stew has its origins dating back to year one of the Katal Katal calendar where... What I've been trying to tell you is that one of us is going to die tomorrow. I suppose that you're right. So, listen, have you ever been in a duel before? Yeah, sure. I've had a few. <laughs> so you see, you lived through every one of them, didn't you? I'm not making any excuses, but let's just say at the time I had no choice. It was something I had to do. In my own way, I show respect for those who have died. Respect, respect. <laughs> when you die, that's the end of it all, right? That's right, and living means something to me. That's why I'm still alive to talk about it. Hmm, well, I know one thing. I sure as hell don't feel like losing, not right now. Of course, that's what they've all said. Oh, well, I'd better color the day. You going already? I have to watch how much I drink of this stuff. Take care of yourself. Are you okay, Gene? Thank <laughs> you. 
is your problem, huh? Is that nice girl routine just somebody's program too? What were you made for? Why are you here? I don't know, I don't know. Don't you remember? You said that we would find that out together, Jean. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> for. <sighs> to live is to push all of you others aside. That may be. Sorry, Gene Starwind. I still want to live, that's all. be the last egg I ever get a chance to eat. Cut it out. There's nothing funny about that. Yeah, oh. it'd be better for all of us if you didn't lose. But if you happen to lose, don't worry. I'll look after everything for you. Will you get to work and make us some money? <laughs> anyway, give it your best shot. Man, that lady's got no tact. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Gene, let's beat this guy, even if it means fighting dirty. You got it. Fun's just getting started. Didn't think you'd get here early. It's not polite to keep your guest waiting now, is it? I'll leave as soon as possible, if you don't mind. From this life. Let's do it. Fine. You shoot me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. The Reservoir Dogs 10th Anniversary 2 Disc Special Limited Edition DVD. Interviews with Quentin Tarantino and the cast, plus deleted scenes. Four different packages, one killer DVD. Buy it today. Let's go to work. Grant City, hardest place on Earth. And lately, I've been on its bad side. And it's only gonna get worse. At some point, a man's got to stand for something. Guess I'll stand for myself. Dead to rights. Rated M for mature. Hey, I'm Jimmy Fallon. I have a new comedy record out called The Bathroom Wall. Uh, you hear songs like this. Idiot Boyfriend. It's a disco song. You hear songs like this. This is Road Rage. It's kind of a hard rock song. He wrote songs like this. This song's called Drinking in the Woods. It's kind of a country song. I do impressions too. Give me one. Chris Rock. Craig. Adam Sandler. How's he that? Who did that? Jerry Seinfeld. How are people? Dave Matthews. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, please buy this. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you and take away your TV time. Enjoy the rest of your show. Just as I expected. Looks like I'm the only one who can take you on now. That you, Laylong? You do have a real name, don't you? Laylong is my real name. My trade name is Shimi. So this guy was your flunky, is that it? <clears throat> he was more like a pupil, really. He didn't have any talent, so he died. That's all it amounts to. Oh, yeah? What does this amount to?
Jim! That guy's shield is powerful! Use a caster! Shit! Use my trump card already? Are you hurt? The bullet just grazed me, but the impact cracked a rib. It's slowing me down a little. Okay, sucker! <laughs> A caster, huh? You have some very interesting toys. I didn't think it could take a direct hit. Not from a caster without getting a little damaged. What is this guy? <laughs> Game over. I suppose I could just let you walk away. You just don't get it, kid. When you've convinced yourself that you have the upper hand, you leave yourself open. Never let your guard down until the fight's over. This is the end of the line, Gene Starwind. Goodbye, Jean. Wait! Jean and I are a team! You fighting him without a handicap isn't fair at all! And I think so, too! Melfina, not you! Jean's important to me. I will not let you hurt him. You understand? You will not kill him. If you're going to take his life, you're going to have to kill me first. Melfina, I couldn't possibly kill you. Anyone else who stands in my way, I will have to kill them. Hold tell you that if you kill him, you'll be dealing with Katal Katal trouble! I'll act as his second as well. Jean's life is currently in my keeping. I would appreciate it if you were not to take it. Otherwise, we cannot be sure of the consequences, can we? Well, well. I see you are good friends. But you can't win. You must realize that. I don't want to hear that! for that. <laughs> Suzuka! I told you what would happen, didn't I? If I have to, I'll kill anyone who tries to interfere. You son of a... Jane! Well, it looks as though you can't move. That tends to make the challenge rather boring. So then, what do you say to a one-shot fight? Sounds like you're enjoying yourself. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, but a job's a job. <sighs> Looks like we're ready. Let us begin. Jean! 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 Oh, Jean. Where did he go? <laughs> so I'm finished too. I'm dying because of a faulty gun. Talk about bad luck. You must try to survive them. Must not let the Anten Seven prevail. What do you mean the Anten Seven? Now there are six of them after you. <clears throat> a dead gun. So my talent is just good luck. And now everybody's dead. That's too high of a price to pay. You got that right, Gene Starwind. Oh, Jim! Hey, Jim! Maybe this luck of yours ain't so bad after all. I agree. It seems as though I need to go back to training. 
After eating that Katarl Katarl stew, my whole system's been thrown out of whack. If I'm not mistaken, Suzu, isn't that called shifting the blame? I would greatly appreciate it if you didn't call me Suzu. Uh, Jean, you better not forget this. That's another one you owe me. Hurry up and solve the mystery of the galactic ley line and hand over the treasure to me when you do. Why do you suppose she keeps saying things like that? Maybe because the lady's gotten attacked. He didn't kill us, so maybe he was a good guy. Goodbye, Leilong. Damn you, Shimi. You were worthless. Please, leave it to us. Jean Starwind, now you have stirred my curiosity. I, Azanko, want to meet you. Made me start to get some weird thoughts in my head. Maybe I'll have to just treat myself to becoming a wandering outlaw, too. <laughs> Goodbye, Gene. <laughs> Terminator, Dawn of Fate, rated T for teen. Scusa. Cappuccino. Okay, breathe. This is Jen, and she has the sudden urge to learn Italian. Who can help? The Italian Institute in Chicago. Carry on. Hello. How do you say, hi, my name is Jen. Now be a good boy and come over here and sit on Mama's lap. This is going to take a while. Now get the most minutes to use whenever. Introducing T-Mobile. Get more. The greatest duos of our time have always come in pairs. Abbott and Costello, Siegfried and Roy, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> now together again for the first time in one awesome collection, the best of Beavis and Butthead. I am Cornholio. I need TV for my bunghole. Relive the golden moments with the comic masters. Number one, I order you to go take a number two. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Does not the fire need water too? Does not the mountain need the storm? Does not your skin need kicking? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Get four complete volumes of the best of Beavis and Butthead on two VHS or two DVDs for only $29.99. I'm like angry at numbers. There's like too many of them and stuff. Call in the next 10 minutes with your credit card and you'll also get Beavis and Butthead's Holiday Extravaganza featuring Butt O Ween. Ween. And Beavis and Butthead do Christmas absolutely free. Your spirits will rise. I love you. Come to Butthead. You will howl till it hurts. You will be choking back the tears of joy. We guarantee you'll laugh long and hard. Long and hard. Or we'll refund your purchase price. We have a winner. So call in the next 10 minutes with your credit card to experience their genius again and again. I have seen the top of the mountain, and it is good. You'll get 42 incredible episodes on three VHS or DVDs for only $29.99. Yes! Cool. This offer is only available right here. Would you like to pet my poopy? So call now. Are they all Tenchi's girlfriends? Well, sort of. Uh, please bear with us. Where's Tenchi? Tenchi will. Next. to save you. We must go now. We must challenge Kagato. That's all we can do. Is that right? I'll tell you what we can do. We can find Tenchi. That's what we can do. Do you hear me? <laughs> Is he dead? It's not over yet. I will kill Kagato. I will kill him. Even if it kills me. Let's go! All the passages will lead to him. Let's go. Hey! Wait for me!
somewhere. Well now, looks like an invitation. Sure does. Let's not be rude. Hello, I'm right behind you. Could you please wait up? Whoa! Welcome to my chapel, ladies. Enjoy the music. Stand back, Ayaka! Oh. 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 Is that a term of affection, or do you just not like me? You're quite powerful, Princess, but this chapel's force field counteracts all energy that attacks it. Now allow me to teach you some manners. Ah! 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 Seven hundred years is a bit too long of a rest for you, Ryoko. You can't even tell the real me from my shadow. That's not like you. Kagato, don't! My arm! You look quite nice and gray. Will show me the secret of Tsunami Unit, Princess Ayeka. This place is really, really weird. Where they go? Agato might have them already. And if he does, that means I'm all alone. Well, that's okay because I'm a galaxy police person and I can handle it. I'll just capture Kagato all myself and and setting me free, by the way. This is a dangerous place you're in, you know. You're not kidding. Let's get these out of the way. Rise and shine. There she is. 
Now, this girl's totally out of control. Don't you agree, Mihoshi? Well... Uh, Looks like nothing's broken. Um, excuse me. That jerk tried to destroy her, hmm? Well, I'll show him. Uh, excuse me, who are you? Your outfit seems to be a Science Academy uniform from a long time ago. Your body is sagging a bit. The deterioration of your muscle definitely affects your ability to fight. It also affects your visual psychological tactics. Oh! Okay, Pipsqueak, whether my body is sagging or not is none of your business. What are visual psychological tactics anyway? Your sex appeal, of course. Hey, I'll have you know my body shape hasn't changed for the past 700 years. What do you think of that, you big fat smart aleck? What I think is that's no way to talk to your mother, Ryoko. Ugh. That's right. In fact, not only did I create you, but I created Ryoki, I've created this soldier, I've created so many things, really. But I used my ova for you, so I'm more like your mother than your creator. You must be that female student that was kidnapped by Kagato. A female student? No, I am Washu, and I just happen to be the top scientific genius of the universe. I am cute. I have to admit, I look a little young. To be your mom, don't I, Ryoko? Huh? Baloney! I've been alone for 2,000 years, ever since I was born! Ever since I was... I was born. But what in the world is this place? This is the reversed world. Reversed? This ship has two layers. It has a top and a bottom. But the intersection between them is one way, so that means oh, in order... Forget to... about that! Tell me how to get to Kagato! Wanna take revenge for Tenchi? <laughs> how do you know about Tenchi? As you are connected with Ryooki, so am I connected with you, my dear. So I know... everything. I know how you feel about... Tenshi. Uh, you like him, uh, uh, you love him, you've never felt like this before, uh, and you'll do anything for him. On top of all that, you want to do this and that with Tenshi. Oh. Now don't you? Oh, she's thinking about that? Hey, stop, shut up! If you want to go, I won't stop you. For you, it's a piece of cake. Please, stop, Ryoko. She's not the one you should point your sword at. Oh. Hmm. Ryoko, I should have stayed out of this. Ryoko, before you go, I have to ask you one thing. I wonder, could you please? Do you think you could call me Mom? <sighs> hey, Ryoko! But why shouldn't we go with her? Because it's impossible. Once we're on this side of the world, we can't get out unless Kagato is destroyed. But she... Please try to understand. Uh -huh. That was Ryoko's astral body I brought here. Uh -huh. Her physical body is on the other side. Huh. Now, where are we? <gasps> Aieka. 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 Yoshu! Aieka, I need to know something. Tell me, Yoshu, what is it? Aieka, tell me about the power the Master Key can activate. The power embodied in the trees of the royal family, the strongest power in the universe, Tsunami. Tsunami? How is it that only your relatives can control it? Tell me! <laughs> Is it your blood? Let go! Or do I need something else, my dear? Help me! Help me! Someone help me, Tenchi! <laughs> well, I see Tsunami must be protecting those of royal blood. In that case... Hold it right there! Well, the shrew that was in the world of shadow has returned, I see. Where have you been? I've been waiting, but then your timing was never perfect. I'm at your service. Oh, where am I? What happened to me? You are all right now. Huh? Who are you? Tell me where we are. I am Tsunami, the ship of Jirai, and we are inside of myself. Inside of you? But you're human. Wait, I get it. You own this ship, right? No. The owner of the ship... Sasami. Sasami? Yes. You see, what I am is the mind of this ship. You're like a human version of Ryooki? Oh my god, Ryooki! Where is everyone? 
I can detect Ryu O's key 70 light seconds from us at this moment. Are they still alive? I feel Ryu O's key responding from within Soja. Alive. They must be in close combat. Combat? Are they really fighting over there on that ship? Please, take me there. We have to get in there. Tenchi, listen to me. I cannot leave here. On this journey, we will have to go alone. Is that all right with you? That's all right with me. Well then. There are two places 7 p.m. means late night. Sunny Village Retirement Home and Comedy Central. Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Weeknights at 7. Here on Comedy Central. It's a talk show. They've been charged with criminal acts. The offense? Public indecency. Oh, all right. Have your way with me if you must. You identified the two most wanted episodes. Catch them both tomorrow at 9.30. South Park's Most Wanted. Only on Comedy Central. NFL Game Day 2003, now play it online. Log on and compete against anyone, anytime, anywhere. Rated E for everyone. This Friday, get smart. Tough, is that silly, buddy? In a manner of speaking, yes. Act tough. You want a slice of this? <laughs> You boys look nice. Are you going to the dance? And become. <laughs> wow, he really likes you. Oh? Totally irresistible. Now what? You are so sexy right now. Stealing Harvard, ready PG-13. Opens everywhere Friday. Trigger Happy TV, tomorrow night at 10.30, only on Comedy Central. There's no way out? That's what I'm saying. You see here on the ship's diagram, that goes this way and this goes uh -huh. that way. And so, there is no way out. Absolutely none. No way. That's it. Got it? Uh, nope. I don't get it at all. <laughs> So I guess what you're telling me is there's absolutely no way out of here. Where were you when they handed out the brains? But how can that be? You created this ship, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And that is why it is so perfect! <laughs> okay, you pain in the neck. There are only a couple of things we can do here. And what should I do now? Take this and join in. Hooray! Hooray! Ryoko! What's that? Ah. Oh, right! Ryoko nailed him! I sure hope she did. This pillar is very dense. He must have gotten seriously damaged. <gasps> ah! Where are your manners, Princess? I'm going to enjoy crushing you. Yes, I'm sure you would, if you could. What? Just what seems to be the problem, Ryoko. But why doesn't Ryoko use her full power? Well, we you mean she isn't? If she was, this would be over by now! Now, excuse me! Ryoko can't beat him like that, even on her own turf! Ryoko! Aha! Ah! Uh, uh. uh -huh, that was why! Aha! Uh -huh, that was why what? If Ryoko uses her full strength, Ayaka will be burnt to a cinder by the counterflow of the extra energy. Well, you seem to have a lot of ideas. What should she do? Hand me your cube. Come to me, 
Aika. Aika! Uh. We can't get over there, but they can come here. You are making it easier for Ryoko to fight, huh? Even I can't do anything to Ayeka now that she's in another dimension. Why don't you leave us alone? Because if you do, I'll let you go free. Go free? Ryoko and I are not under your power anymore. And I am no longer your student, Professor. Do you think I haven't learned anything in the past 5,000 years? What did you just do? I directed all the force of the gems towards Soja. Although I could make it as compact as Ryoko, I think you'll find the power it can produce at one time is far greater than Ryoko. I'm getting weak. My power is draining. Professor, I'm going to show you a little experiment just like the old days. I forbid it. Princess Ayeka, you're in no position to forbid anything. And since you're not cooperating, I'll interrogate your brother and sister instead. <laughs> no, please don't! Sasami! Yoshio! There it is, just as I thought. It is truly amazing. How can it take that so much energy, huh? What? Whoa! I don't understand this. Oh. Ten wings of the Lighthawk. The royal family's most powerful ship, Tsunami. Is that it? My shield is completely useless. But that's not all the gems can do. No, that was only the beginning. That is the most powerful of all ships. There is one final use for you. When you lose consciousness, all the power from your gems will be so just to use. It's a pity, Ryoko, that you won't live to see me as the ruler of the entire universe. I'm sorry, Tenshi. What was that? Are you real? I'm no ghost. Didn't think you were still alive, kid. No, Tenchi, don't. Now I'll be fine. Well, what do you plan to do? Huh? Jeez, I can't get it out! And now I'm worried. <laughs> Let us handle what? this. Huh? What a comical pair you two are. I got it! <laughs> you two, look after Ryoko. Yes, sir. What the? Damn, just when I need it most. Just a rusty old piece of junk. The master key is just a tool to activate the power of the ship. It's useless when cut off from the ship's power. Tenchi? Yeah. I can't move. Hey, you two, what are you waiting for? Go help him! We can't. Kagato's force is increasing at an incredible rate. We are using all our power just to shield it. What's the matter? Your sword doesn't help anymore? If only you had left these women behind, you could have remained alive. I would rather die than forsake any one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right with me, because I have all the gems. <laughs> Marvelous power, splendid. <laughs> Come to me now, Tsunami! No, this can't be the end. Do something brilliant! You created this ship, didn't you? She's right. There's got to be something you haven't thought of. Well, okay, so there is just one more thing that we can try. What is it? We can pray real hard. Oh, <laughs> 
It won't be long now. Your power joined with mine will be unbeatable in the universe. I'm scared. I'm sorry to fail you. I am not capable of rescuing your sister. I can't even use this sword. Have faith in your own power. Huh? Please be careful. Soja is very dangerous. As long as I have this sword, I can manage somehow. Listen. What? Don't rely on the sword alone. Tenchi, you have to trust in your own power. Tr trust in my own power? My power? Yes. How can you have any power left? I have been relying on this sword too much. I was going to finish you later, but why not now, huh? So, you're giving up! Tenchi, run! Get away! Uh, uh, stop! Uh, please don't! Oh, you got everything you wanted. Please. There I am. Can this boy really mean that much to you? Well, not to worry. Very soon you and Princess Ayeka will join him. Very soon indeed. He won't be alone in death. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, now it's your turn. Ah, impossible! I thought the power from Tsunami was completely cut off. It's you! It's you! You're creating all this! The transformation of objects. The wings of the White Hawk. Unbelievable! Now! Get him! Ah! I've got you! Tenshi. Same name as the Master Keywell done Tsunami. Tenshi can't be copied. Splendid plan. Give one boy. Boy who can create the wings of the light hawk, huh? I want to make him mine! Tenchi! Hi, Tenchi! Tenchi! Oh, Tenchi! <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. I'm gonna be the first to give Tenchi a hug. Tenchi! I said I'm first! Nice to meet you. My name is Washu. I would like to thank you for saving me from Kagato. I, um... I like you. Do you want to be a guinea pig for my experiment? What? Listen, Mom! What's the problem? Oh, Tenchi! Oh, I'm oh, 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 so Shut up! I guess the spaceship was cut in half also. Let's go! Thank you. We appreciate your work. What's the matter with him? I don't know. What are you doing? Cut it out, please, both of you. Uh, leave them alone. I can't. Breakfast is ready. Hey, guys. How long do I have to Just wait? another peaceful so breakfast, so huh? Yes. It's going to be another fine day on planet Earth.
Welcome to La Bagage Total. Taco Bell's new zesty chicken border bowl. Grilled all white meat chicken, seasoned rice and beans. It's a complete meal, completely satisfying. La Bagage Total. To get the total package. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Executive who studied trigonometry back in school and now sits in a huge office and drives a finely tuned luxury car. Yes, Mr. Only learned basic math, so still have an entry-level job and have to live with your mother. Well, if you need me this weekend, I'll be here filling out your expense reports and timesheets because that's really the only kind of math I can handle. Great. Simple addition and subtraction sound right up your alley. Have a great weekend in the country, sir. summer 2002 and to celebrate pizza hut is continuing the 2002 for deal get two large one topping pizzas for only 15.99 but wait you'll also get a two liter of dr pepper free and nothing beats free the summer 2002 for deal only at pizza hut there are two places 7 p.m means late night sunny village retirement home and comedy central late night with conan o'brien starting this wednesday here on comedy central leave it on it's it's leave it on when we find some trouble, we fix it fast and go. We're just getting started now, let's get on with the show. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. The future ain't tomorrow, all the changes have begun. We gotta get a handle on some complicated fun. tell you now the words of red moon from the great spirit was born the wolf and man became its messenger in other words the human race was created from wolves so says the author of the book of the moon shelter in those rocks till the storm clears. That settles it then. Can you guys hang in a little longer? Just worry about yourself, all right? Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Let's go. soon. We should rest here until then. What do you say, Kiba? I mean, the storm will blow itself out by morning. It already has. <gasps> Come on. It'll be fine. Well, none of us will be fine. Do what you want. I'm leaving. Look, I can handle it. Yeah, well, let's get going. No, I'm not going anywhere till morning. I understand. 
Kiba! Let him go. But why? Right now, the only thing he can see is Cheza. It doesn't make any difference whether we're with him or not. We'll follow him once the storm blows over. For now, just get some rest and don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, Gay. You sure about this? He obsesses too much. What can you do? So I take it, you didn't like the scarf that much, huh? It's really too bad. I thought it suited you. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> you lunkhead. Cheza is... A girl made from lunar flowers, by utilizing an ancient alchemy. It was Lord Darsha I who created her. She was stolen by Lord Orkham, and brought to the lab for us to study, hoping that we could awaken her, and open the gates to paradise. Paradise? It's a world where wolves reign supreme. They're drawn to the lunar flower, because it's the one thing that can guide the world's remaining wolves to paradise. Tell me, Cher. Did you know about all of this from the very beginning? Then who told you? Wait a minute. You mean at the keep we're headed towards? Full of wolves, huh? If that's what you call paradise, I'll take my chances in hell any day of the week. Quint, you were awake? Hey, what can I say? It's too cold to stay drunk. The Book of the Moon. It isn't just a fairy tale, you know. Maybe. But even if you're right, there's nothing we humans can do about it. How is there? I'll never be able to forgive the wolves. Not after what they did. Even if they are the supreme rulers of this rotten world, I'm gonna eradicate every one of them. Inside the keep, there's... A wolf. Yes. My love, now that I have lost you, paradise holds no meaning for me. And yet, <laughs> this wolf's eye throbs. Why? What is this feeling that threatens to overwhelm me? Tell me, what should I? Teach him to respect.
respect me. I have no respect for him. They are opposites on a collision course with nothing between them but bad blood. Oscar De La Hoya, Fernando Vargas for the Championship of the World, September 14th, live on in-demand pay-per-view. A night of great boxing action. Order De La Hoya versus Vargas on Cox Cable. I'll teach him a lesson. Let me at him. We're a country that loves competition. If somebody starts mixing it up, we're there. You gotta love the idea of car and driver putting the top four pickups up against each other. And we gotta love the fact that Dodge won. Yep, Dodge Ram is number one over Chevy, Ford, and Toyota. When you're buying a pickup, you can't go wrong putting your money on the only pickup with four full-size doors and a full-size bed. Dodge Ram. Get 0% financing or a $2,000 cash allowance during the Dodge summer clearance. More mystery, more picnics, more glazed donuts, more change of scenery, more emergency parties, more minutes, more talking, more minutes for talking, talk, 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 talking, talking, more bubbles, more service, more asking, more getting, more last minute trips, more adventures, more everything. Get more minutes, more features, more service. Introducing T-Mobile, get more. Looks like it should be haunted. By what? By the ghosts of all the cursed nobles. Come on, don't <laughs> say stuff like that. But still, are you sure that girl is inside of there? The scent is faint, but it's definitely a lunar flower. Oh. He's got visitors. of literature dealing with the nobility, but most of it was lost with the decline of civilization. Yet there are some things we do know. They say that long before the world became as it is now, the nobles extolled the virtues of this culture. By using an amazing form of alchemy, they blazed a path to the stars and opened the doors to space and time. But in an instant, all of it simply vanished. No one really knows what happened then, but many people disappeared. The development and execution of their alchemy came to be a secret, known only to the remaining nobles. That was never to be passed on to the people. All of that happened almost 200 years ago. And now what remains of this world is slowly fading away. Along with the blood-red moon. Are you in such a rush? It's Pops. I know he's here. But do you really want to see him? That Pops guy? No. It might be better if I didn't. But maybe the reason he's out here is to find you. So, what if he is? Are you gonna go back to being that human's dog? Hey, lay off! Yeah, you may be quiet. You don't know what it's like. Guess I don't. Unlike the two of you, I've never had the pleasure of being kept as a pet. Now, now. Let's find Kiba and Chezo. We can fight later. The flower scent's coming from over there. The 
worship of wolves, huh? But it's not just a simple animal cult. It's deeper than that. I think the vision of this world has split somehow. There's one we humans can see, and one we must have lost sight of at some point. I'm fairly certain the animals are aware of that. Including the wolves? What the hell brought that on? I have a terrible allergy to dogs. That a fact? Then they must be over this way. Those allergies sure do come in handy. Glad I could help. are, or what you're trying to do. And to be honest, I don't really care. Cheza is all that matters. She's gonna show us the way to paradise. You damn wolf. All of this first began with your wretched breed. What is it? It's over, Wolf. No, don't! <gasps> Blue!
Sakura. That way. Did that wolf just say something? Human life is an ephemeral thing. It is always wise to look back on one's past from time to time. But perhaps my life is a trifle too long to dwell upon. And so, I bid you adieu. Something, no questions asked. Why not? Frank Martin is the best in the business. He never made a mistake until today. What kind of deal am I in? Deep trouble. From the maker of The Professional. You broke the rules. You opened the package. And La Femme Nikita. The Transporter. Oh, 
Rated PG-13. September 13th, only in theaters. I can't remember anymore how long it's been since I first found my way here, or even why the hell I decided to come. The stench of this city only adds to the pervading filth. The cold wind that creeps in through the cracks in the dome makes its way into every damn inch of this place. Scavenging rats feeding off the trash, greedy gossiping crows, Humans with exhausted faces, residents perfectly suited to life in this city. And me? <laughs> what else? I was starving. There's a risk that comes with almost everything, but if you're strong enough, you can always get food. Survival of the fittest. It's the one rule that applies no matter where you go. This city isn't really so bad. I found a place where I truly belonged. Everything was fine. And then he showed up. What is it? It's a dog, but I don't think it's gonna make it. <laughs> Maybe it's worth something. <laughs> Maybe we can eat it. I've never seen a dog this big. The sucker's huge. That is not a dog. <gasps> Pull it out. <sighs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was quite a stunt. I was protecting myself. That's all. Don't be so quick to kill. What's wrong with killing? 
I don't know what mountain you came down from, but you're in the city now. There are rules. Rules? Is running around the city with a pack of idiots one of the rules? I'm only using them. Your rules stink like this city. What's the point of living if it means throwing away your pride? You got a big mouth for someone half dead. <sighs> Are you okay, Sumi? Hey, you're bleeding. Don't touch me! And stay out of my business. I wanted to thank you. You saved my life back there. I always thought maybe you didn't care if one of your friends got killed. I guess I thought maybe I'd never be one of your friends. We are not friends. Huh? It's just... I'm not like you people. Slow down a little? There's nobody following us. I know. Haven't we gotten enough already? I mean, there's plenty to go around. The provisions for the nobles are gonna be passing through the checkpoint tomorrow. Huh? We're gonna hit him again? Chen, Seto, you're in the advanced squad. Why doesn't that surprise me? Yeah, but we messed it up bad there last week. Security's gonna be even tighter now. We lost two of us today as it is. Gel. You're on standby. <laughs> Anyone who isn't willing to fight should get out now. In the end, it's a human city. It's much too cramped for a wolf to live in. <laughs> I guess I knew that from the beginning. I could try and run from it all I wanted, but this burning feeling in my gut would never disappear. I'm coming with you guys. I want to fight. I can help you. Just tell me what to do. They say the nobles have put a bounty on every gang in the city. Is that so? Yeah, they've already started to round people up. And our stuff's been kind of high profile lately. Maybe it's time we should move on. There's a freight train pulling out of town at midnight. We can sneak our on. Our next raid is gonna be tonight. Make the usual preparations. Why, so you can just sit back and watch? Gail's dead because of you. You let him die. Sorry, pal, but I ain't working with you anymore. I wouldn't want to slow you down now, would I? Suit yourself. Did you hear? Someone saw a wolf in town. Can you believe it? What is this world coming to? You don't suppose it was just a big dog, do you? 
From what I heard, no one's ever seen a dog that big before. Oh, these are troubled times. No matter where we go, nothing ever changes. We may disguise our true form, but we're still wolves. I should have known better than to get mixed up with a clumsy pup like him. A boy? No. You're not a boy. For me, I've never met a wolf. I mean, other than myself. I heard rumors about you from the crows, though. Uh, they said you make friends with humans and run wild with them. <laughs> you heard wrong. I don't have friends. Uh, I'm Tobaway. Thanks for the help back there. You know what? I've been living with humans my whole life, too. Just get lost, uh, will ya? I'm getting pissed off. And that only happens when I'm around idiots. Somewhere to go? Who knows? I wonder if I'll ever see Lyra again. Hey, you think it'd be okay if I went to visit her? You saw that look on her face, didn't you? She was just a little surprised, that's all. You can't be serious. She was pissing in her pants. She was not! That girl was reeking of it. Why do you have to lie about everything? Why can't you just be honest with yourself for once? Fine, whatever. If you want to go, then go. It's not like I care what happens to you. So why did you save me then? If you really don't care, then you should have just left me or pretended not to recognize me. I mean, I'm not your friend or anything. You're right. You're not my friend. Yeah, I forgot. You're only friends with humans. It's easier that way, isn't it? Because no human is ever going to be as strong as you. They'll do whatever you tell them to. You don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea what it takes to survive in this city. How dangerous it is. Nothing. Go on. Let's see how well you do on your own. Beat it! Being alone doesn't bother you? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever got mixed up with a kid like you. I'm sick of friends. Who needs them? Just let you get away scot-free. <laughs> you damn humans. <gasps>
upkeep. Why the hell did you bring us here? Sume? What? I could smell the blood from your wound. What? I smelled it all the way here from town. And you're gonna nurse me back to health? Well, I don't need your help. Sume, look, I... We're leaving the city. I really think you should come with us. And just where is this merry band of yours going? To paradise. <laughs> you kidding me? You're going with him because you believe in that crap? Oh, I don't know, but if we stay here, we'll have to spend the rest of our lives in hiding, or worse. We just can't live with the humans anymore and survive. Look, I hate to interrupt, but a nasty stink is headed this way. We're surrounded. Let me ask you, why did you guys come to this city? It was because of the flower scent, wasn't it? Well, it's gone now. There's no reason to stay. The flower has nothing to do with it. I'm here because I belong. I can see that. This city is a dump. I still have a score to settle with you. We don't have time for this! The last time we met, you said something about how your pride wouldn't allow you to pass as a human. Well, you look pretty human now. Where'd your pride go? Nowhere. Nothing has changed. Do you have the slightest idea of what leaving the city would mean? Yeah. You'll just die. Possibly. Everyone's gonna die. It's a natural part of life. But if life has no purpose, you're dead already. journey. Paradise can kiss my ass. I'm just fed up with this stinking town. It was time to move on anyway. We found a kind of paradise I saw them once before, in the when I was little. I was still just a cub, in the region where I was born. They had blossomed all over. White flowers that only bloomed under a full moon. They were lunar flowers. They were all burned to ashes. A fire raged across our land. It burned all the flowers in an instant. And all, all of my friends whose escape route was cut off were killed. I was the only one who survived. Why me? Why just me? I don't have a pack anymore. The only place for me now is paradise.
bunch of things in this world, and you can't really do much about most of it. But sometimes, just waiting to see what happens is what makes the journey fun, don't you think? I wonder whatever happened to that girl. The STNJ is in the business of hunting witches. Your powers are useless against me. Meet the team, a telepath, a hacker, a rookie, and a new girl. What? A master of witchcraft. A craft user? Business is booming. What gives you the right? Because you're a witch. Witch Hunter Robin, tonight at midnight. Something supernatural, Adult Swim. You said you needed a dentist, so I gave you my number, but you still haven't called. Maybe you don't know that 1-800-DENTIST is the hassle-free way to find a dentist. Maybe you're worried about commitment, and you don't know that it just takes a few minutes. And maybe you're scared. But hey, everyone's afraid of taking that first big step. Just don't let it keep you from getting the quality of dental care you deserve. Come on, don't leave me waiting by the phone. Call 1-800-DENTIST today. Hey, what if, what if this rainbow doesn't exist? I mean, it's just in our magic. Believe the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. This summer, in these woods, there's bats. You can't outrun that bear. I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. There's ugly. Hey, guys, you need to use your phone. And there's just plain wrong. Mm. Bacon. Squirrel. Mmm. Squirrel. Without a paddle. Help, there's a grenade up here! No! Rated PG-13. Starts Wednesday, August 18th, only in theaters. S'mores in a cup. Sonic's got them, others don't. Introducing Sonic's new S'mores Blast, made with real Hershey S'mores candy bars. Drive in tonight and get any of our Sonic Blasts. It's not just good, it's Sonic good.
think you're looking at? Huh? You've been doing it for a while. Hey, buddy, you think you could lend me some change? Hey, I don't have a lot of time. Anesthesia's working. She's not responding to the operation very well. I'm just not good enough, that's all. Listen, it wasn't your fault. And you are a very skilled surgeon. Besides, she will be better soon. You truly are one of the chosen. The rest will be done in the usual way. Ginger tea, with lots of honey. Ginger tea? Hmm? Yep. Best thing in the world when you've got a cold. Warms you right up. Thank you. <coughs> oh my, were you working again last night? 
were you outside in the rain and without an umbrella? <coughs> Just as I thought, that's how you must have caught your cold. I think it's time you went to see a doctor for that. Here, I'm going to give you the address of a really good hospital. But first, do yourself a favor and finish up that tea, okay? Swollen, all right. Some antibiotics should do the trick. You can get this filled at the pharmacy on the way out. Okay. Anything else? Huh? Any other problems or questions? No, not really. Well, that's good. You're very lucky. You never see the kids who just wish they were healthy enough to be active, but unfortunately, there are a lot of them. There are quite a few right here in this hospital. Here you go. Take this to the pharmacy. That'll fix you up. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Next patient, please. Scallions. What? Wrap some around your neck. Sometimes it works better than medicine. It certainly can't hurt, you know. Scallions. This is three days' worth. Make sure that you take it after meals, okay? Okay. Oh, sorry. Third floor, please. Oh, so how'd it go down at the police station? It was just a heart attack. No sign of narcotics. So how are you doing? Well, I feel like I'm alive. And it's all thanks to Dr. Kirihara. No. It went well because you were a very good patient. Doctor? Hmm? I promise I'll be just as good a patient. I trust you with my surgery, too. You don't have to worry. All you have to do is believe in the doctor and you'll be fine. Right, doctor? Why, yes. There's no question about it. Lisa Kayama. The patient in room 405. Yes. Her operation is next week. But in her present condition, I'm not sure if she's going to make it until then. She dreams of getting well. And I want to give her a real future. So please save her. With your powers. Are you sure about that? Mm hmm If we cure her before the operation, it won't advance the acceptance of your work, you know. Hmm. I've gotten more than enough praise. Thanks to you, that is. I never believed in the existence of God. But whatever you call it, there's definitely something out there. There has to be something. Something has given me the power to control life and death. Whatever it is. Yes. If this is what you call destiny, then it means my destiny is to be strong and lend a helping hand. To pull back fragile lives as they dwindle. I will keep following that destiny as long as I can. Do you have any leads on a donor? Yes. One of my old patients, actually. That is, a man who is of no use to this world. This is the strange corpse that was found last night. Robin? Uh, sorry. <clears throat> the coroner's report has it listed as natural causes from a heart attack. Now, usually, that'd be the end of the case, of course. But this one was a witch. Oh, so that means... When a corpse is identified by the police computer system, that individual is automatically cross-referenced with the STNJ's witch list. If there's ever a match, then the STNJ steps in and performs its own autopsy on the corpse just as a normal precaution. But this time, the result was not even close to the police report. And what happened to him wasn't natural at all. Cause of death, necrosis of the heart. It was caused by a witch's powers. It's not clear whether another witch got him, or whether his own powers just somehow went out of control. 
But why were the autopsies so different? We thought it must have been just some simple mistake, but it wasn't. And there are other ones too. All you have to do is dig around a little. Like this one, for instance, about three years ago. Not only that, but the police autopsy on that one was run by the same doctor. Uh, Kazuhiro Kirihara, a substitute coroner. He currently works at Toto Takanodai General Hospital. There's a little something I think you might find interesting. A lot of the autopsies he did were for members of the Mafia. It's pretty strange when you take into account that they all seem to have died from heart attacks or some form of apoplexy. Sounds like he's in that gray area that's ever so close to guilt. The coroner would be a good friend if he had bodies to get rid of. It just doesn't get much easier than that. There's no way to be certain right now, but I'd say the chance that Kirihara's a witch, or at least associated with one, has to be pretty good. We'll just have to keep an eye on him. It's simple. Guys who don't pay up, you just squeeze them and squeeze them and squeeze them some more. Ah. And when that doesn't work out well, you know what to do then, right, Doctor? <laughs> Money you borrow? <laughs> if you're not careful, you might have to repay it with your life. <laughs> Well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What can I say, Doc? If it wasn't for you, I'd never be able to stay in business. I really appreciate it, Doc. I mean it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no use to the world. Let's just let him stay asleep. Yes, permanently. Yeah. same feeling. Maybe the police finally figured it out. I don't know. Those guys don't look very much like police. Then what's going on? Why do you think they're after us like this? It's hard to tell. Perhaps they want me. Wh what? Maybe they figured out my power and they're coming for me. But they couldn't. No one knows anything. Your power's a secret between us. We're the only ones in the world who know. <laughs> What are you? Damn it! Son of a bitch! Looks like they went inside. We don't have any choice. Sakaki, you first. Robin, stick with him. Karasuma will cover the front and I'll take the back. Robin!
Okay, both hands up in the air. Who are you guys? And what do you want with me? Why are a bunch of kids like you... Why? I don't have to answer a witch. A witch? <laughs> Hold him down! Are you gonna do it? <laughs> we either get them, or they'll get us. Damn it! Okay, you little punk. Hurry up and do it! My arms are getting numb! That's strange. What's the matter? My power. There's something wrong with my power. What do you mean? It couldn't be! You can do it! Go ahead, try it again! Hey, who's that? Is that a girl? You're the... It's true, isn't it? Do you want something? Is that the reason you've been following me? I see. So you were the witch. I should have known it. It can't be. You have a power too? those guys. Continue to save human lives. That's always been my destiny, and I accept that fate. But in the process, you've killed innocent people. Every last one of them was a sinner, and they got the judgment they deserved through my hands. You have no right to do something like that. Hey, what's that? Is it a fire or a ghost? It's time to give yourself up. Okay, that's enough. I understand. I will. You can't! Run, Kirihara! Karasuma, we've got a problem. I'm going in. Robin! Stay still. It'll collapse. Others besides us who have been given powers. But how do they decide to use their powers? Do they accept the destinies that were given to them? I. I will obey my destiny to the very end. Are you willing to do that as well? Will you obey your destiny? 
obey my destiny? Kurosawa! Please, I need you to promise me that you'll save that girl's life. I will. I promise. I must say you've improved quite a bit. It's still not clear when Kurosawa's powers first awakened, but apparently he used them very effectively to cure quite a number of Kirihara's patients. And Kirihara? He's in our custody. an empire and make the wrong things right. Quentin Tarantino presents Jet Li. Hero. Rated PG-13 in theaters everywhere Friday, August 27th.
Check out long-lasting fruit-flavored chiclets. The original square gum. B2K. Hear that Motown sound like Smokey Robinson found. Like Dr. Pepper. It's originality, no world. The taste of Dr. Pepper. The taste of originality. Absolute individuality. And gives life a personality. Be you. Hey, uh, you got any of those Aqua Teen scripts? We're gonna be watching any rap shows today? Hey, sorry, I'm late. Hey, yogurt. And now there is one. It's really quiet. It's almost like everything has gone to sleep out here. Yuji, don't you think this is kind of strange? Yuji. Yuji. What is it, Marlene? Are you reading any blue? No, it's clear. Are you really looking forward to the blue that much? Yeah, what'd you say? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Here they come! <gasps> blue approaching! Let's move out, Marlene. 
Now. Okay. Sounds like it's begun. No fair. How did I get stuck out here? I wanted to be Yuji's partner in the city. If I were you, I'd give that up. You'll just be holding him back, Alicia. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Stay the trajectory till after the mission's completed. The target nest is 20 kilometers ahead. Everyone stay sharp. Copy. Once the nest is destroyed, we'll head for the rendezvous point immediately. A detached force? Are you serious about this? You want to run a diversionary mission? Yeah, it's the only way we'll arrive at the shuttle departure point on time. This nest is in the way, but if we try to detour around it, we won't make it before the shuttle leaves, right? As I draw the blue out, everyone else can move in and take out the nest. Then we can all get back to Second Earth together. You make it sound so simple, but I guess we should expect that from a sleeper. Well, it's certainly going to be an interesting mission. Yuji can't handle it as he is now. Tony! Wait, Yuji. If you like, how about we let this decide? Heads, Yuji diverts them. Tails. I do. Fine, whatever. Uh, it's heads! Yuji wins, Tony! Don't die out there. But you're completely overworked. At this rate, your body won't hold out. You mind your own business! I was the one who proposed this mission. I absolutely must not fail. I can do it! Yuji! It's still beautiful here, isn't it? Even with so much of the population gone. The Earth continues to live, unchanged. <laughs> Wait, hold your fire! <sighs> Children? No more blue around here. 
let's go. What's with the attitude? He's not much of a team player, is he? Alicia, no more chatter. We're still on a mission, remember? Possible. How could kids survive in a jungle like this? Is there anyone else around? <sighs> Marlene! Stay in your shrine! We're on a mission! Hey there, don't worry, I'm a friend. Don't be afraid. Are there any others? If there are, please, can you tell me where they're at? Over there? Yuji, come down here. Don't interfere! It's the blue! <laughs> Marlene! over with. I want to get home and shower and freshen up as soon as possible. Submitting report on current status of unit. Casualties, zero. No vehicle damage. Remaining ammunition, 90% or better in each rig. Remaining power, 90% or better. Why, Marlene? Because there are still people alive out here. <laughs> Marlene!
finish you! <laughs> hey, it uh, looks like our unit is the only one that didn't suffer any casualties out there. Now, when it clears tomorrow, we can return to Second Earth. All thanks to Tony and Yuji. Man, those sleepers are really something. Don't take it personal. They're just different from us, that's all. Different? Sure they are. I mean, we were raised on Second Earth. They weren't. But as long as the two of us stick together, we should be all right. What was that, Rick? No. <sighs> uh, I was just telling Marlene how lucky we are to have someone like you on our side. Is that right? Huh? <sighs> Time to change the watch. It's your turn, so go on. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. So, Yuji's not around, huh? Say, how did he do on the battlefield today? He's one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Don't you think so, Marlene? I mean, he has to be brave to go on that diversionary mission like he did. Tony's awesome too, but he's not very cute. And there's something kind of strange about him. If I was gonna pick a boyfriend, I think Yuji would be the one for me. And he's so strong. That's the kind of guy I go for. You're wrong. That... That isn't the real Yuji. I don't get it. What do you mean, the real Yuji? There's only one Yuji that I know of. Oh, wait. I get it now. You're jealous of him, aren't you? It's because you always thought you'd be better than him as a soldier, right? That's it, isn't it? You're wrong. <gasps> it's not Yuji at all. It's not him. It's not him. You okay, Marlene? <sighs> Gee, I wonder what she got so upset about. I was only teasing her. Uh, ow! 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 Oh! Uh. What are you doing? I was just confirming our return schedule to Second Earth. I don't want us to be late. It's great that you're so dedicated, but I really think you should take a rest once in a while. If I could just handle this thing a, a little better, maybe if I could just tone in better, this thing's performance should be higher. I understand, but...
Yuji, those children we saw today, how do you think they're doing? Do you think that they're still alive after what happened out there? It's not our concern. <laughs> if we're going to exterminate the Blue, that's something we can't worry ourselves about. Besides, eventually the Blue would have killed them anyway. Do you honestly believe that? If I let myself get distracted, I won't catch up to him. This is nowhere close to the amount of blue Tony's killed. You're keeping score. If I was only a little stronger, a little faster, then I'd be the best. It's the blue. They're coming. Let's go! Finally, some real results. Their situations are indisputably advancing, just as we speculated. Yes, we are moving on to the next phase. At last, the day we can return to Earth is drawing near. I'm not about to be left behind. Finally, I've caught up with you. A sample for data purposes. A comrade's existence not being omitted. The environment has already changed. Why is it that they're keeping me here? Or is it... <laughs> Wait! Yuji!
Monday through Thursday at 1 in the a.m. Just the way you like it. On Adult Swim. Flash. At CDW, we ship over 100,000 IT products to customers every day. So how can we do it even faster? One word, wormholes. I think it could really change things. It could take our shipping system to a whole new level. Now I just need to figure out the whole space-time continuum thing. For the top brand IT products you need shipped out fast, count on CDW for the right technology right away. When it comes to getting the parts, supplies, and advice you need to keep your car running right, there's no better place than AutoZone. You don't want to play on the big river, boys. Um, you're a boy scout. No, but I had a brownie once. What started as a weekend in heaven, late runners? I'm all natural. Is turning into get in the fetal position. <laughs> Abort the fetal position. Nothing. The vacation from hell. Our only chance is to huddle together for warmth. My body telling me. Yeah. I, for one, choose death. Without a paddle. This never leaves the cave. Rated PG-13. Starts Wednesday, August 18th, only in theaters. Hey, uh, you got any of those Aqua Teen scripts? We're gonna be watching any Brack shows today? Hey, sorry, Mike. Hey, yogurt. Okay.
stop this. Please stop! It seems as though these last battles have raised our soldiers' morale. Yes, it does, but there's a lot of work left to do. We should consider a second drop operation. Of course. But I'm sure our friends in the Science Division will have something to say about that. They're always complaining. And it appears they're getting nervous about the treatment of the sleepers. Incredible, isn't it? Tony, and now Yuji. These sleeper guys are really something else, aren't they? Muscular strength, reflexes, visual acuity. Even if you could take all those things away, I still don't hold a candle to them. I told you, those guys are a lot different from us. All right, we're done for now. You can take off your gear and shut down the unit. Go and get some rest, you guys. <sighs> I'm tired. Oh, one other thing. Yuji, I'm astonished at how your battle and the seas are improving. I'm excited to see what you'll do next time. Yuji? I don't need rest. I finally made it this far. I think I'm going to go get some more target practice. Yes, that's right. I finally caught up. And now that I'm here, I'm never going to fall behind again. <laughs> Is he slack? Hey, wait! Yuji! Hey there. Do you like what you see? <laughs> Excuse me for disturbing your fun. The data. I would like to take a look at it myself. Director Miyagi. I hope you have Director Doug's permission to be here. These rooms are under the jurisdiction of the Medical and Science Divisions. I do not need permission. Show me the data now. If it's just the data you want, I can send it directly to your desk if you like. No, that won't be necessary. I'd like to see what you recorded today. Hmm? These are their values when they're under normal circumstances. That's the baseline. But when they're fighting, their values are much lower than we anticipated. The sleeper's abilities are still mostly untested. In practice, the numbers may not match our predictions. So it seems. If the data from the ground is true, it's unlikely a high degree of military gain can be achieved. Seno... Miyagi. 
Let's go, Rick. Hey, Marlene! This Yuji Kaido must be very special. I would hate to see us lose the valuable data we've obtained by disrupting Yuji Kaido's unique environment. In order to activate his B-cells, 2805's presence in this experiment should not be omitted. Data. My involvement should not be omitted? But his environment has already been altered. What is Miyagi trying to achieve by having me here? Or is it... Has he known something from the start? Hey, wait up! So, what's the big idea of running away from me, huh? Where are you going? Marlene? You mean, where are we going? What's this? Of all the places you could have brought me, a hangar? Not much of a change of scenery. This is good. Right here. I get it. We can take our time and enjoy each other without attracting any attention to ourselves. <laughs> I don't believe it. You're really getting into this now, aren't you? Uh-huh. Hey! I need a favor. Hurry, take this data disk. Please, take it to Seno Miyagi. Data? Please, Rick. Uh, hey, Marlene. Please, Rick. Help me. Do I really want to get involved in this mess? Man. Uh, why not? to change shifts already? Onboard alert condition has been changed from K2 to L1. We'll take over the watch. Yes, sir. Understood. <laughs> Corridor 32I, clear. Corridor 32J, clear. Corridor 32U, clear. Earth. 
Once the next drop operation begins, I'll be with Yuji again. But when it's all over, what happens to me? And even if all the fighting ends, will Yuji still be acting the way he is now? I was just enjoying the view, that's all. Should I return to my station? <laughs> we received your message. We will be taking you to the Ark. Halt! Apparently, the situation is even more urgent than we had thought. Ah, good. Marlene Angel, you're here. Please, come in. Uh, Miyagi, what kind of stunt are you trying to pull now? We couldn't be sure that you wouldn't run into some of their guards out there. I apologize for the inconvenience. They know how brash you can be, so I had to keep up appearances. They? I'm talking about the High Council. Look at this. On the left are the activity values of the sleeper's B cells that we've calculated from the imaging data you gave us. By comparison, you can see how the levels on the right, which Sue sent to me, are clearly lower. So what does that mean? They've been tampering with the data. It's the High Council. It appears that they've been hiding the truth from us. The fact of the matter is Tony and Yuji's abilities are exceptionally high, even for them. You see... The Sleepers are capable of eliminating the blue, but there's more. A lot more. They're not just relying on their superhuman strength and reflexes to accomplish this task. The B-cells have a power hidden within them that gives the blue an unconscious, mutual sense of communication. A telepathic connection, if you will. And on a certain level, it gives the Sleepers the ability to sense how the enemy is going to move even before they do it. They can read the blue's minds? But how is that possible? I thought the B-cells were... Early in the 21st century, spontaneous outbreaks of the B-cells began to appear in various segments of the human population. There was no way to inhibit the unusual growth of these cell mutations with the medical techniques of the time, and those diagnosed with the B-cells reluctantly became sleepers. Now, suppose that in course of studying this problem, some of the scientists made use of test animals in their research. It was inevitable, over time, that some of these infected animals would have the chance to crossbreed with the existing stock, and evolution did the rest. Thus, in the year 2017, the life form that would eventually come to be known as the Blue was first identified on Earth. Just a minute. Does that mean... You could say that the Blue's true identity is the evolved B-cell itself. <laughs> In time, as mankind learned more about the Sleepers and their B-cells, a plan was devised to create a superhuman battalion that could take back the Earth. Yet, the scientists involved were well aware of the fact that what they were creating had the potential to become a whole new breed of blue. A new breed of blue? My god! So, who will be left on Earth once all the blue are wiped out? You know that already, don't you? A sleeper's abilities begin to increase once their B-cells are activated, but even though that increases their offensive capabilities, the sleeper's body is pushed to its limit. If he is pushed too far, abnormalities could begin to reveal themselves under intense stress. Yuji is no longer just an ordinary human. As the B-cells take control of his body, he becomes more like the blue every day. No way. You're wrong! Unfortunately, that's the conclusion I've reached after many years of research. I'm sorry, but it's true. You're wrong! That won't happen to Yuji! Yuji is different! He's just like me! He's human, just like me! And even if all that's true, it's only temporary. I won't let it happen. It appears that I was correct in my judgment of you. <sighs> yes. We cannot allow the High Council's plan to progress any further. But in order to stop them, we must first remove them from their position of influence. It is toward that end that I have assembled this group of people. The name of our organization is the Ark. Marlene, join with us. 
My team could use your help, and we may be able to inhibit the B-cell's growth inside Yuji's body. You think I can help? Of course. You could be the only one able to make Yuji realize his human emotions. <sighs> I'm picking up emergency orders for the combat divisions. The second drop operation is underway. The first and second advanced platoons are dropping. The sleeper brigades are being summoned. Another drill or something? This is just what I hoped for. Now we can settle this once and for all. Let's go. Take your seat. Marlene isn't here yet. We can't leave her behind. There is no time to waste. Forget her. She's only one pilot. The rest of you will have to fill in for her during the battle. Oh, that's great. We move out right now. All the arrangements for the attack appear to be ready. But what about him? <laughs> Sino, you rascal. You and your cheap tricks. Did you really think you could deceive us that easily? <laughs> I have no idea what he has planned. But whatever it is, we need to take the appropriate measures to stop him. <gasps> What's wrong? Are you afraid? Huh? No. There's nothing to fear. We have to do it this way. Yes, it is important that we stand by our decisions no matter what happens. They're leaving? No! I'm going to Earth 2. 
I won't let Yuji pilot the double edge any longer. So long as the High Council is in power, there really is no way of saving Yuji Kaido. But if that's the case, what do you want me to do? We have only one choice. Beginning now, the arc goes into action. School of Business and Medical Sciences in Ramsey is offering programs in the exciting and rewarding healthcare field. With our hands-on training from professional instructors, you'll graduate prepared to work in a variety of medical careers, such as ultrasound technician, medical assistant, and medical biller and coder. If you'd like to train for a career where you can make a real difference, call Hohoka School today at 201-327-8877. That's 201-327-8877. Sports school? Animal Planet? <sighs> What's Beacon's up to? Filibuster. Encore love stories? What's he reading? Everything you can get with I.O. Fox Sports World. HBO On Demand. I.O. Digital Cable Service offers over 200 channels, plus access to hundreds of titles on demand. Just $9.95 more per month. C-SPAN 1. C-SPAN 2. C-SPAN Three. Want to get the most out of your TV? Call 1-877-81-DIGITAL. You don't need an act of Congress. You just need I.O. Your reign ends right here. Yep, tear it up. Dang! Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Come here, let me show you something. You like these? You feeling them? Yeah. Go get me a pair. The rookie is back. Check out the shoes. The hats, the match, the shirt. It's all good. Hey, rookie, where are my shoes? Get the Reebok Classic Clip Groove only at Champ Sports, where sport lives. Come on, guys. Why should you consider getting an education in the Navy? This is one of your classrooms. Navy, accelerate your life. Hold on tight for the biggest DVD event of the year. Hidalgo on DVD. You think we got one more in us? Loaded with groundbreaking extras. Hidalgo. Western Justice Partner. Own the legend today on DVD. Sports, where sport lives. Hi, I'm Chuck Norris. And I'm Christy Brinkley. The Total Gym is the one piece of fitness equipment that replaces an entire gym full of equipment. A few minutes a day is all it takes to get into the best shape of your life. It's the favorite of everyone from world-class and professional athletes to millions of families who have it in their homes. And right now, you can try it in your own home, absolutely risk-free, for an entire month. You won't even be charged for shipping and handling. Or you can ask for this free DVD and information kit. Swim Action Original. Big O. 
13 all new episodes, Sunday at 11 p.m. Bigger is always better. People are not ruled by their memories. Adult Swim. Even without the events of 40 years ago, I think man would still be a creature that fears the dark. He doesn't face that fear. He averts his eyes from it and acts as if he never had any memories of his history. But 40 years can be both a brief time and yet a long time. Man's fear has withered, and even time tries to wither the desire to know the truth. Is it a crime to try and learn the truth? Is it a sin to search for those things which you fear? My purpose in this world is knowledge and the dissemination of it, and it is I who is to restore the fruits of my labors to the entire world. Fear. It is something vital to us puny creatures. The instant man stops fearing is the instant the species will reach a dead end, only to sink to pitiable lows, only to sit and wait apathetically for extinction. Wake up! Don't be afraid of knowledge! Schwarzwald. who lose the capacity to think become creatures whose existence has no value. Think, you humans who are split into two worlds. Unless you want the gulf between humans to expand into oblivion, you must think! I'd say you have the wrong guy. 
I'm not exactly a bounty hunter. Yes, of course, we know this. But your services, Mr. Smith, have been personally retained by our company's president, Mr. Rosewater. We all know the newspaper reporter Michael Zabok no longer exists in this city. Michael Zabok is dead, but the agitator who calls himself Schwarzwald has returned. It appears he has. But don't forget, there's freedom of speech. He has the right, doesn't he? Yes, but he doesn't have the right to recklessly mislead the public and stir up fear. So, what would you like me to do about it? It is our understanding that the contract previously agreed upon between yourself and Mr. Rosewater remains unfulfilled. It is your responsibility to finish the job, Roger Smith. Did you see my report? He burned the check. Of course we have, but don't you want to know everything that he knows? I can't believe that guy is still alive. I won't work with the military police looking over my shoulder. Relax, Roger. We wouldn't put you under surveillance. Wouldn't do any good anyway. Dustin, I guess I should be offering you my sympathies. Knock it off. Hmm. I haven't given up. But I do have to say that lately, I'm being forced to face up to my limitations whether I like it or not. The military police are absolutely vital to all the people, especially outside the domes. Until the Black Megadu shows up anyway. Hmm? Schwarzwald. He's attempting to spread terror in the city again. But is that what he's really after? That man had fallen under the Megadeus's spell. Could he be that foolish to try something like that again? Don't you find it odd that there is only one man in this whole city who has the desire to pursue the truth? to develop a slight variation in your tempo. In music, that is essential. Thank you for that, Instro. Let's call it a day. I'm afraid I must be going. What about your job here? There haven't been many customers these past few days. So you're playing somewhere else then? Yes, but not a piano, an organ. <laughs> have been going to church lately. They all believe that by singing there, they will be saved from some fate. I don't understand their reasons, but if my playing can help them, if only a little, then... You poor souls who fear the darkness and the deep. When you suppress that fear, you will be able to get closer to the truth. The 
The truth you're looking for is all in your head. I keep telling myself that, at least. These days, it keeps my mind calmer. Certainly better than the alternative. But still... The thing that was lying dormant here deep underground, could that have been the truth that Schwarzwald is talking about? If that monstrosity that tried to steal Dorothy's identity was the archetype of a Megaduce, no, of Big O. Then... but one truth. If you avert your eyes from it, you will always remain nothing more than a puppet. I've had enough of this! who is closest to the truth. Imagination and memory are but one thing which for diverse considerations hath diverse names. They tell me not to make any moves until after something has happened. How the hell are we supposed to protect the city when it keeps coming under attack from all these things with incredible powers? Denizens of Paradigm City, so long as you exist together, continue to live your lives together and share in your mass illusion, a single dragon will be born there. Megaduces, why do they keep coming? So this is where they've been hiding it. And yet, what do they plan to do with it? saying that there's a big O hidden inside these? The reporter called the red Megaduce Big Duo. Big. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? What are you planning to do with them? I had thought that if anyone would understand, it would be you. What are you talking about? Are your values so narrow-minded, Roger Smith, that the gigantic Big O makes you feel... <laughs> justified? <clears throat> Thank you. 
I don't know. Are we the same? You've lost your conscience. And with that, you're so cavalier. You run wild and destroy. Oh, that must feel good. Yourselves, you fools! The anxiety within you has no outlet. It has no past and no future. You want to experience what I feel? Oh, I already have power. The power that makes people do what I want. Then what do you want these Megaduces for? Because they represent a symbol. Of what? Their masters are agents of the power of God. Hmm. No, that's stretching things. I am simply a human being who was born already possessing the qualifications to use a Megadoos properly. That would be nothing like you. I've had enough of this. <coughs> oh my, I suppose it leaves me no choice. That's a good boy, Roger Smith. All in good fun. <laughs> I'd be interested to know if you have blood or oil flowing beneath that stupid mask of yours. I'll show you my blood if you show me yours. You're the only one who's gonna bleed. Alan, don't be vulgar. Oh, now we're playing the hero, are we? Unfortunately, my big doesn't have everything that it needs. For the time being, you're the only Dominus of Megadus. What do you mean? We're inside an electromagnetic barrier. Your communicator is useless here. No one can. that thing call for you? Or did you happen to call it? That dragon is a ghost from long ago. We'll just send it back to the grave then. 
action! Each person's jealousies, their desires, their fears. Alone, each may be a small part, but together, they become an enormous whole that will take shape. Hey, Schwarzwald! Here's an ending that doesn't appear in your prophecy! Farewell, my prophecy Leviathan. Imagination and memory are but one thing, which for diverse considerations hath diverse names. Are you suggesting that was Schwarzwald, Roger? I'm beginning to wonder. Angel, what do you mean? What's that? Schwarzwald had those leaflets printed up and passed them around before he went crazy in big duo. What did you say? There's a shoreline beyond the desert to the east. His body was found there. Schwarzwald. Michael Zabok hasn't been among the living for a long time. And now there is one. You don't want to.
want to play on the big river, boys. Tom, you're a boy scout. No, but I had a brownie once. What started as a weekend in heaven, like ones? I'm all natural. Is turning into get in the fetal position. <laughs> oh, force the fetal position. <laughs> the vacation from hell. Our only chance is to huddle together for more. But my body tells me. I, for one, choose death. Without a paddle. This never leaves the cave. Rated PG-13. Starts Wednesday, August 18th, only in theaters. Excuse me. The way you walk, you walk. Dentine Ice. Intensely cold. For icy, fresh breath that lasts and lasts. Dentine Ice. Nothing's colder than ice. Yo, who got this new Angus Steak Burger with bacon and cheese? Me, baby. <laughs> Angus burger with uh, extra steak sauce? Man, what are you watching? Meat. Satisfy your instinct for beef with a fierce new steak burger made with 100% Angus beef and jammed with fire grill taste. The new Angus. I'm the king of the shop! What's going in the flocko? The Angus. Yeah. Have it your way. At CDW, we ship over 100,000 IT products to customers every day. So how can we do it even faster? One word, wormholes. Looking for a smarter server? CDW and HP have a huge selection of server solutions that are powerful, scalable, and easy to manage. Now I just need to figure out that whole space-time continuum thing. For the top brand IT products you need shipped out fast, count on CDW for the right technology right away. Garnett, only at Foot Locker. Malakalikimaka, rock and rollers. Big news from the briny deep. Adult Swim is putting on North Sea Lab 2021. Four nights a week, back-to-back -back episodes at midnight. Man, oh man, that's a whole load of Sea Lab. Maybe too much. But whoa, what am I saying? Can't never get too much of Debbie. Debbie, Debbie. Get down with your talking fish, Debbie. Get wind up. Or anything, is it? Whatever, just hurry up. Quit your whining. <laughs> that crow boy thinks I'm gonna stay here for 723 years with hard labor? My ass. <laughs> what now, boss? Okay, that ought to do it. One little lightning bolt, and we're out of here. You say lightning? Yeah. Prison security runs under the floor here. All we gotta do is knock out the system. What do you think? Pretty ingenious, huh? Oh, what the? 
Are you saying you want me to be a lightning rod, boss? Yeah, shut up and catch me some lightning. Oh, what do you have, crazy? I will not die for you! Uh, you idiot! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? <laughs> Hold on to that thing tight! <laughs> uh, don't you want to get the hell out of here? Of course I do, but not as a pathetic corpse, right, T-Bone? <laughs> it's coming. Now I see, that's who it is. My name is Roger Smith. This is Paradigm City. And I do a job that's necessary to. Necessary to. Today is the legal counsel for Yoshifuda Yakamoto Industries. It's the largest of the construction companies that built Paradigm City's domes. Those things that divided this city into an inside and outside. By the way, that writing back there, I was wondering, what exactly does it say? <laughs> and that was the last time that anyone heard from me. Norman? Yes, Dorothy? It would be my guess that Roger will not be returning home this evening. Nevertheless, my duty is to be prepared to serve him a piping hot bowl of soup upon his return, regardless of the hour. Uh, yes, I do understand this, sir, but we are not in the position to... Look, I'm just asking if you've heard from him. Huh? Oh. So sorry to intrude. Good evening, Colonel Dawson. What seems to be the trouble here? Well, it's ironic, all right. He's usually the one negotiating as a neutral observer between parties. Mm. What has happened? Apparently, he's been kidnapped. Who has? Roger Smith. By who? I don't know. It's true Roger should be back by now. But what makes you so sure he was kidnapped? <laughs> it serves you right, Mr. Paradigm City's top negotiator. Up till now, you've always been a bystander in kidnapping for ransom cases like this, but it's not a bad thing to get involved every once in a while, don't you think? Huh? <sighs> hmm, what did you say? Huh? <laughs> Take a good look at this villainous face, gentlemen. This is the Dominus of Big O, the evil Megadus that's been spreading fear in the night throughout Paradigm City. In other words, it's Evil Pilot. What? How does he know that? Oh. Truly, gentlemen, your technology is magnificent. Just think, with their core technology being simply a black box, 
To be able to revive a Megadus in these modern times is an act of defiance against God. Are you with me, boys? Hi, hi. I've promised to make a more effective and appealing presentation to the Paradigm Corporation that your superb technology ultimately deserves. The arrangements for that presentation are almost ready. <laughs> Gotta be the kidnappers! Oh, dear lord. When I answer, what would be the proper thing to say? <sighs> Listen, it's important we remain calm at times like this. Whatever you do, don't contradict anything the kidnapper says! Yes, hello. Yes. Yes. I do understand. Yes, of course I will do that. I see, yes, and you're welcome. You have a nice day. Dorothy, you must tell me right now who that was. The kidnapper. Uh, and? It appears as though Roger has definitely been kidnapped. So then he's safe, thank goodness. And the kidnapper's demands were? What is it? Why aren't you talking? Because I promised the caller I wouldn't communicate with the police. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Okay, listen, I'm the one who originally came here and told you that Roger was... I'll be handling all uh, negotiations uh, with the kidnappers from now on. Oh, I'm sure if Master Roger heard that, he would be absolutely delighted. Hey, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Are you really fine with that? I mean, for an android... Well, all right, for a girl, she may be powerful and all, but are you telling me that our Dorothy here is going to be a negotiator? Yes. Hey, stop mimicking me! Back! Silly android and mountains of money. Three birds with one stone. Damn, I'm smart. <laughs> but Beck, I really don't think we're gonna be able to string these Yoshi Fuda Yakamoto people along forever. You goon, don't call me Beck. You have to call me Dr. Becklin. Oh yeah, I remember. I don't know though. It feels a little strange calling you Doctor. <laughs> there. Forget about it. I never plan to suck at these guys for very long anyway. Then uh, what are we gonna do, Beck? I mean, Dr. Becklin. Well, I would imagine that little junk heap of a doll has learned to talk just like him by now. <laughs> would you give it a rest already? All right, so tell me, how long do you plan on mimicking me like this? I just can't take it anymore. I won't allow myself to stay here, not even for another second! <laughs> yes. I guess this is goodbye, my little defective android friend. Big O! <laughs> Ah. No! Thanks, I think I'll keep this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe it was the watch. Now it's my turn to humiliate you. What? Speak up, brother. Big O! Negotiator. No way can I condone this. Colonel Dawson, a Megadude 
has appeared. It's that black one. What? is here. It's, a uh, right here. I made a perfect replica of your head's bone structure and an exact duplication of your Big vocal cords. Big that ain't no simple recording. Big it's calling Big that, Megadeus, with your Big voice. O. Big O. It'll just keep on walking in that bewildered state until it hits the south end of the city. I won't let you do it! You won't let me? How are you gonna stop me in there? That big black good-for-nothing Megadeus of yours is going to sink into the ocean. Stopped. What? But why? <laughs> Big O won't obey some warped imitation that does nothing but call his name. Shut it! Doesn't change your situation. Uh, boss? Huh? Ah, the negotiator is finally here. <laughs> you're not as tortured as I expected, Roger. You mean you're? The negotiator? <laughs> the whole cast assembled. Is your oh-so-precious Dorothy Roger's lover? <laughs> That's preposterous. Why, Roger? You are so cruel. Why is it preposterous? Dorothy, knock it off! Don't you understand the situation we're in? I understand. A villain has kidnapped the man that I work for. The man that I love. Our Dorothy Wainwright! Huh? <laughs> I was joking. I was just trying to lighten the mood. So now, did you bring the goods? Huh? Is that it? I'm negotiating. I give you these. You let Roger go. Huh? <laughs> what the hell? Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy, a negotiator only uses force as a last resort. Thank you for your advice, Roger Smith, but I'm not interested in taking over your job. <laughs> I will humiliate Roger Smith in front of his android lover, and while I'm at it, help myself to the control unit of the Black Megadeus. <laughs> Oopsie Daisy! <laughs> Dorothy! <laughs> Don't worry, I have plans for her too. I'll put her control system to good use. Don't you dare! Oh, shut your trap! You have humiliated me exactly how many times? Not once, not twice, but three times! Well, you're not gonna do it anymore! <laughs> No, Dorothy! You never learn, do you? You won't get away! And this! I'll just turn off the magnet and then... Oh, come off! Here, Dorothy. Are you all right? 
I don't care about mass Megadoose production anymore. I'm gonna show you the once-in-a-lifetime miracle designed and built by Yoshifuda Yakamoto Technology <laughs> and the genius intellect of Beck. Here, I brought a new necktie. You know, you saved my life back there, Dorothy. I'll have to find a way to thank you somehow. I don't want you to thank me somehow, but I do have a favor to ask. And what is it? <laughs> They're not listening! They're not listening to a word I'm saying! You're gonna pay for this! No, oh, David! <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's go and sink that black Megadoose. I won't let you. Huh? Big O. Showtime! <laughs> <laughs> Megadoose just appeared in the West 8th Street Dome! What?! Everyone head back! That big O of yours, Roger Smith, looks so archaic! Let me ask you one thing. How did you know about me and Big O, that I send the call and fight alongside him? A memory I had. A memory? A memory just popped into my head, all of a sudden, just out of the blue. I don't know where it came from. That? You are the Dominus of the Black Megadoos. Dominus. <laughs> Relax. All of my memories having to do with you are about to disappear right this instant! I'm gonna show you the mysteries of the Orient! As an apprentice negotiator, you made the grade, Dorothy. You haven't forgotten that I had a favor to ask, have you? Hmm? Oh, 
Okay, just name it. A promise is a promise. of Justice League Unlimited. Their strength in numbers. And at 9, all new episodes of Megas XLR. Then at 10, the finest action cartoon of all time continues. Dragon Ball GT. Plus, plenty of goodness we don't have time to tell you about. Toonami on Saturday, 7 to 11 p.m. Only Toonami. New. What do you get when you combine a banker with a ball player? Play ball. A big hit for your community. These two teamed up to hit a home run when he got his bank to work with a community coalition and other groups in the area to improve the athletic fields. And she got all the kids to participate. Because together they knew if the kids were playing ball, they wouldn't be playing with drugs. Visit HelpYourCommunity.org to see what your group can do. Because you get more. When you get together. This is the one sales event you've been waiting for. The Ford Authorized Clearance. The one chance to get the best deals on the best-selling line of SUVs on the planet. Like the legendary Ford Expedition. Smoother riding and more powerful. Now only $349 a month. That's $349 a month for a well-equipped Expedition XLT 4x4 with just $1460 down. This is the one sales event you don't want to miss. The Ford Authorized Clearance. This is the one. It ends right here. Yep, tear it up. Dang! Oh, so that's what I'm talking about. Come here, let me show you something. You like this? You, you feeling them? Yeah. Go get me a pair. The rookie is back. Check out the shoes. The hats, the match, the shirt. It's all good. Hey, rookie, where are my shoes? Get the Reebok Classic Clip Groove only at Champ Sports, where sport lives. Come on, guys. Quiznos introduces five new craveable salads. Premium meats and cheeses, oven toasted, then piled high on cool, crisp salad greens. New made-to-order craveable salads, only at Quiznos. Quiznos. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Toasty. Hey, there are lots of shave gels, and they're all full of soap. And soap can leave your skin dry and irritated. Introducing Gillette Complete Multi-Gel, the only shave gel without soap, so it won't dry out your skin. Closeness, comfort, and skin care in one shave gel. Healthy-looking, smoother-feeling skin in 14 days or your money back. This is more than shave gel. This is skin care for a man. Gillette Complete Multi-Gel, the best a man can get.
Hey, what if, what if this rainbow doesn't exist? And it's just in our mad country? Believe the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. What's well, a camping trip without beer? Well, it's still a camping trip, actually. This was less vomiting. This summer. Pretty thick country up there. Hey, look at deer. You're invited to experience the sights. Cue the insane hillbillies. How you like me now, boy? The sound. Don't let them smell your fear. <laughs> Help me! And the beauty. All cleaner. I'm all natural. <laughs> of the great outdoors. Without a paddle. I love camping. With the PG-13. Starts Wednesday, August 18th. It is the ultimate fighting machine. I've never seen anything like this. A battle android with the soul of a hero. The only problem, he has no idea who he is. What's going on here now? His quest to unlock his secrets will threaten everything he loves, all in the name of one idea. Can an android become human? Impossible. I want you to try to help me be like you. A classic anime, we imagined. Kick Hyder, starting Monday, June 9th at midnight. Adult Switch. We shouldn't. Hey, come on. We'll be fine. No one's around at this hour. What if someone sees us? Hey, what the? Huh? Police have refused to issue a formal statement until they have had time to complete their investigation. However, sources inside the department have indicated that this is not gang-related. It appears that the vehicle was subjected to an extreme external force which crushed the car, rupturing the fuel tank and causing a huge explosion. The shockwave blew out the windows of a nearby shop and fell out the spot. Now we're I think something's wrong with this thing. Let's go to coffee. It has no aroma. Yeah, that's a funny thing that happens when you use the same coffee grinds five days in a row. Okay, so why don't you go out and buy us some coffee then? And where do you think we can find such money? We're broke. Mm. What the hell? We'll tell him it's herbal tea. <clears throat> Tea's coming right up. We're sorry for barging in here without calling. It just happened you caught us between appointments. How'd you hear about my detective agency? We heard all about you on the street. Huh? Sure, they said the office is run down and that you're desperate for work, but other than that, you're not a half-bad detective. Masaru. <laughs> they know us well. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, you say you got an older brother who's run away? Yes. Okay, what's his name? Jiro. Jiro Komyoji, eh? Huh? Now where have I... Komyoji is so familiar, I know I've heard it recently. We thought we would be able to find him ourselves, but we've looked everywhere for him and he's nowhere to be found. Please, do you think you can help us? Hmm. You see, Jiro, he, he's kind of like a little kid. How's that? There's just a lot of stuff he doesn't know about, and that's why we're so worried that he might be in trouble somewhere. Please, Mr. Detective, sir, you just have to find him. You gotta do this for us. I want to see my brother Jiro again. Masaru. Hmm. Understood. Well, don't worry. Just leave everything to me, ma'am. And I promise you, I'll find your brother in no time at all. All right? <laughs> I knew he'd do it! We appreciate this, Mr. Hattori. You don't even need to bring him home. Just tell us where he is. Hmm. Hmm. You have to what? Destroy me? Why is that? Because I'm some mad machine? What now? What should I do now? Stop right now! That's an order! Is that a good order? Or a bad order? Conducting a test of the new net's abilities and are uploading the results with real-world data we acquired. Hmm. The police have dedicated a special task force to this incident. Irrelevant. Please continue. Yes, sir. Come 
Ryuji. It's so familiar. Isn't that the name of that robotic scientist we heard about in the news the other day? You remember that, huh? Now if you can just learn to make coffee. I don't think this is anything to joke about. There were some pretty weird circumstances surrounding the fire in that lab of his. Are you sure we should be getting involved with this, sir? Don't worry about it. It's a piece of cake. Yeah, we just find this guy, collect our fee, then go along our merry way. <laughs> no problem, I'll do this for a decent cup of coffee. <laughs> look! Puppets! Aren't they cute, honey? They almost look alive. Mommy, what's wrong with them? Why don't the puppets talk? Why? Well, because they're puppets, of course. Yeah, but why don't puppets talk? <laughs> well, you see, puppets aren't people, honey. I don't get it. We'll talk about it on the way home. Mommy, do the puppets get to go home, too? Oh, yes, they get to go home. Mommy, where do the puppets live? They live inside the clock. They live inside the clock? Uh-huh, that's right. You see, the puppets are machines, so they live in a mechanical house. Well then, where should I go home to? Where? last night's train wreck and the car explosion the other night. Police are asking that anyone who might have witnessed last night's incident to contact the nearest police station as soon as possible. They're also oh, no. warning citizens Is to be Jiro extremely involved with all this? going out at night. Good Another morning. Uh, oh, good morning. What's wrong? You don't look like you're feeling so hot. Everything's fine. Hey, are you hungry? Let's get something to eat. Sounds good. <laughs> Come on over. Have a seat. We can jam. All right, then. You can just follow my lead. Mine sounds broken. Dude, it's not the guitar that's broken. You just gotta know how to pick it. Oh, can you teach me how? Well, it's not like I'm that busy. Okay, let's start with a scale. Now you try. Dude, for your first try, that's excellent. Okay, now these are called chords. After you learn a few chords and how to string them together, you can play almost anything you want. <laughs> That's totally... 
totally whack, man, you tricking me like that, dude. You're a freaking expert on that thing. But I've never played before. You shouldn't lie like that, man. It's bad karma. I'm not lying, really. Just shut up, because if you're not lying, you're some kind of whacked out freak. A freak? That's right. But I never... I've been carrying it around on my back all this time. And I don't even know what this thing is called. Huh? What is it? What do you call this thing? Duh, it's a guitar. Get lost, man. You're totally creeping me out. He's really getting around. He's been spotted all over the place. Yeah, but we'll find him. He's a little hard to miss carrying that red guitar on his back. Hmm? He seems to keep coming back to this closet, though. I wonder why he keeps coming here. Eh, who knows? Maybe he's got some kind of thing for clocks. with us. Right, we'll wait for you here. She said she's coming right away. Was she relieved? Definitely. Now that's what I'm talking about. You belong at home, not running around alone. Mitsuko's coming right now to get you. I'm not going home. But why? Because I... I have no home. What are you talking about? Your little sister Mitsuko's been worried sick about you. Why do you think she hired us to find you? My sister? Surprised, huh? Listen, whatever differences you may have had, you'll always be a family. Family. I can never go back. Mm -hmm. Mind telling me why? Because that place will always be Mitsuko's home. And I will never be like Mitsuko. My own home. Where... where I belong. Oh, brother. Listen, no matter how different you think you are from your sister, the two of you are tied together by a very deep bond. A bond? That's right, a bond. But, sir, I thought you hated your brother. <laughs> Zip it. Shiro, the point I'm trying to make is this. You share a close bond with your sister, and the longer you're away, the more worried she'll get. I wouldn't steer you wrong, kid, so go home, okay? can't go back. Not ever. Hey, wait a minute. But, but, sir... You've got to stay here and wait for Mitsuko and her brother. Wait! Come back here! Oh, sorry. Hey. How can he run so fast? Huh? You mean he just ran away? But why? Good question. Uh, but don't worry, because I'm sure my boss will bring him back soon. He just left. Haven't you been watching the news? It's dangerous to be out here at this hour. You should go home. No, I can't. Not ever. What's wrong with you? I told you it's dangerous. <laughs> All right, hold it right there. This is patrol car 15 requesting backup. We are. <laughs>
you here. You're just in time to try out my new web. Who... who are you anyway? Don't you recognize your own brother? What? However, I'm afraid I have orders to destroy you. Jiro's all right. Hey, come on, you gotta stop worrying. I'm sure everything's fine. Don't worry, my boss will bring it back. You seem to have a very strong body. How does this feel? destroy my own brother. Professor Gill has ordered your extermination. I must follow my orders. Professor Gill? Dr. Komyoji was the man who created us. However, Komyoji was merely the servant of Professor Gill. Professor Gill is the brain who controls the operation. It's not true. You've been malfunctioning. I, I'm not malfunctioning. Of course you are. If you weren't, you wouldn't be so confused. You'd know where you belong. You're wrong. I'm not malfunctioning. Never mind me. I just... You see. You must be destroyed. Elect... It's no good. I just don't remember anything after that. I must have blacked out, because the next thing I knew, I woke up here. Jiro saved your life, I better. How else could you have gotten here? Now I remember what happened. You're right. It was Jiro. He picked me up and saved me. It's go. I won't rest until I find Jiro for you. I swear. But be straight with me. The truth. I need to know about Jiro's secret. 